go out of the box or is it in the no, box? it's in the box. Come out the box. Hi everyone, welcome to the Blind Anglers 500 sub giveaway. Um, we are live at the moment just to say a big thank you to everyone that has donated to the giveaway. Um, so I'm just going to give it a couple of moments just for uh, some people to come on and say hi. And uh, while I do that, I'm just going to have a little feel around for what we have in front of us. Scott Harrison, hello. Hi Jamie, hi Scott, how are you? Hope you are well, thank you for joining us. I'm just getting some bits and pieces out and, and ready. Just leave it for a minute please. So, uh, yeah, hope you guys are well. West Wales fishing has already asked out to enter. Oh uh, yes, so guys, um, basically, yes, um, what will happen is there is a video going up uh, after this live, um, and what you need to do is basically uh, like, uh, make sure you've subscribed, like, share the video, and also comment the sweets, um, and then you'll get allocated a number uh, ready for the draw. So uh, hopefully the draw won't be too long before we get there, but uh, you never know. But um, yeah, everybody will get allocated a number and um, it will all be documented on the PC as well. So it's all going to be done correctly as well. So yeah, for sure. <coughs> Steve B said hello. Mick Hi. said hello. Hi, Steve. Awesome Hi, Mick. Fishing man said hello. Hello, awesome fisherman. I like ben that name. Said, uh, ben said hello. Nicola said hello. Evening, Ben. Evening, Nicola. Thank you for joining us. Scott said, Fab, how are you both? Scott, we are well. We are well, thank you, my friend. Yes. Um, Parenting win today. The children actually went to bed. Yeah, the, to be fair, we, we, we planned to do this over the last couple of days. Um, and our little girl, who's free, has had a bit of a code and um, she's not really wanted to um, go to bed without mummy or daddy. So... Um, we couldn't do it because uh, it was just too much hard work, and by the time we got to bed, it was too late and uh, and whatnot. So today she's gone down. Good Mr. Good. B says hello. So, Steve says hello. So was that Steve Mr. B. and Mr. B, Mr. Bond? Yeah. Yes. Excellent. Thank you for your message today. Uh, that was really nice of you. Glad you got the stickers. Glad you like them. Um, hi, Steve. Hope you are well. Also, um, basically tonight is just a little little live to say a uh, big thank you. To everybody for the support so far i think we're currently sitting on around about 252 subscribers uh which is incredible it's just flown up over the last three three four weeks uh so a big big thank you to each and every one of you guys for the support and 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 everything and um a lot of people on the last live on the um the q a uh donated uh some money to us uh for the 500 sub giveaway and um, I, went straight out and I just wanted it. to to uh, basically show you guys what we had managed to accumulate so far um, in the giveaway, um, which is there's some lovely tackle, um, there's circle hooks, there's standard hooks, all different sizes, there's a few rigs, uh, there's loony beads, floating beads, rig beads. Um, we got a flash cut gloves for the, the chili yeah, nights. Um, <laughs> Oh, I don't know if you guys could see it, sorry. No, um, I'm, I, I, I hid it. So yeah, we've got um, some rig winders. We've actually got a cool bag for, uh, for the bait. Um, yeah, you have to lift it up, Wayne. We've got some braid to go with this really nice Daiwa um, spinning reel, which I really like that Daiwa, that is lovely. We've got that one there from uh, Southwest Sea Baits, it's a lovely size and great for plug-in and also it's the same size of reel that I use for my plug-in and um, also for um, in the kayak as well, so that is, that's lovely. So we've got some braid for, for that one as well. Um, there will be the Blind Angler stickers, we're going to put in a Blind Angler t-shirt as well, which is, I don't know if you guys can see that behind me or not. That will be made towards the um, Which will be 
whoever wins, obviously not everybody will wear the same size t-shirt. Um, so the white sticks and real t-shirt will be on there and whoever wins just tell, tell us what size they would like. Um, but yeah, there's rig winders. There's the very famous um, rod rests that I use when I'm on the uh, on the piers and on the railings to, to rest your rods on. Um, do you know what, there's just so much here. Yeah, like I said, different size hooks, load of different beads, swivels. Um, yeah, just a great amount of, of bits and pieces as well. So um, I don't know whether I could show them. But uh, the round angular stickers as well. And this will all go to somebody who has subscribed, uh, likes and shares the video that will be coming up after this live. And, and then all the they've got to, to and then all they've got to do is um, comment sweets in the in the uh, comment section, and they will get allocated a number. And then as soon as we hit the 500, we will go live on that following Sunday. So if we go, if we hit 500 on a Tuesday, a Wednesday. Thursday, whatever, that Sunday is when we will go live um, to do the draw, so straight away. Um, and then, uh, which will probably be, again, around about the same time as today, as long as we can get the kiddies down to, to sleep. And um, we will also post on the Blind Angler Facebook page, you know, milestone hit giveaway will be this Sunday at such and such a time. Um, and then, obviously, we'll, we'll post a link as well once we... Uh, once we know, um, <clears throat> yeah, sorry, yeah, so, um, that that's, will be doing it that's worldwide. it, yeah, and it will be worldwide as well. Um, so we will ship this anywhere because I know we've got some followers in Germany and Canada, and they've, they've been great, um, and, and other places as well. So I, I wouldn't want them to miss out. So we will make sure that we can get this, um, across the waters, um, to wherever you may, you may maybe because i think it's worth it for sure um like i said some lovely prizes here if i'm honest i really like the die were real but jen's already told me i can't have it and i'm not allowed to answer um so fair enough but uh yeah um i just wanted to show everybody what we've got so far and a big thank you to everybody that's um we've donated got some as well to so, get, haven't we? yeah. shop leader and that left to get to make so you can make rigs with it yeah it, we do have um a couple of rig wallets here as well um oh, which yeah. right um, I haven't opened the packet, but I'm, I was a bit like, oh, do I open the packet or do I send it like this? Um, but well, I will open this packet because I've already started um, making rigs as well. There will be rigs made up by myself, and I'm going to put them in one of these rig wallets, uh, which will consist of um, two hook flappers, three hook flappers, some with, some without floating beads, and uh, like putty, putty pennies and so on. Um, so yeah, that will get opened, and I will use uh, the rig wallets to put the rigs in as well. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to show uh, what we've got so far. Uh, some I'll do a there. picture, which would be everything that's in the giveaway so far, as yeah. well as this, the, the pictures. Yeah, the absolutely. And obviously, you know, as time goes on, depending on how long it takes to get to the five hundred. Uh, oh, Timothy's on. You could tell him he can enter the giveaway. We'll send it to him. Timothy, yes, uh, Tim. After the the live today, there will be a a giveaway. Um, can you see this T-shirt? Yeah, you can see most of it. Yeah. Yeah. So that that the white sticks and real T-shirt is in is in the giveaway as well with the stickers and um, and everything else that you can see here. And we are going to ship it worldwide. Um, so after this video, um, all you got to do is like and share the video that gets posted. Um, comment sweets and it has make to be sweet. and make sure that you've subscribed. Oh. Um, oh. Oh, um, oh, Timothy, we might not be able to send you the 500 gram bag of sweets because it's not no, that good. No, probably across. won't be able to send the sweets. Um, there is also a, a 500 gram bag of sweets um, by Jen. Um, but Tim, or if anybody abroad wins that and they want to donate this to me, so I have some sweets, that would be lovely. <laughs> but I don't think we're allowed to send sweets abroad. Um, but we'll see what we can we can do with that. So, uh, yeah. I'll get back to the comments now. I was letting you do your spiel before I told you comments. But, um, so that is it so far. But, um, yeah, as time goes on, if I can add to it, I will do. Of course I will. Um, but I just I wanted like to say, shopping, so um, I just wanted to say a big thank you to, um, to everyone that's, uh, supported us, um, 
and donated to us and also donated to the the 500 sub giveaway so yeah um yeah there's some nice prizes here and like i said you've got the blind angler stickers which will be going in as well plus the t-shirt plus the daiwa um reel we've got the braid to go with that and um yeah and if we've got the bait bag the flasks uh the flask cup somewhere that's it in front of you with gloves um, with gloves as well i thought that was a nice one but that was actually jen's idea that one actually uh, that was, nice one that's for, another donation from jen <clears throat> another one for from jen for uh you know, that'd be nice for the winter months to be fair so um yeah <coughs> excuse me sorry mr hoy asked whether you drained those ragworm yet they're still no, very much no, alive and still, kicking in the fridge. Yeah, we've got them in the bait boxes in the fridge, uh, Mr. Hoy. So um, I'm trying to get her to go out tomorrow. We are, we are planning to go fishing on Friday, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm trying to, um, to get her to go out tomorrow if I, if I can. It might just be a case of it's just Jen and I, uh, no cameras, and then just a little bit of fun for a, a couple you of hours. For we'll a little while, we get on. on the side, so, don't you? Yeah. Um, Richard Jarvis said, hope you're all okay. Oh, good. Thank you, Richard Jarvis. John hope you are hello. well. Good evening, John. Hope you are well, my friend. Angela said, many thanks for the sticker. She loves it. Angela, glad you like him. Thank you for, for that. And Angela, I believe I believe you were the first one ever to receive a Roddy the Coddy envelope. Yes, um, I think she was. So Roddy the Coddy, guys, has now... Um, He's got his own stationery. I don't know which vid, which picture he is. The right hand and he's upside down of course he's upside down i always have the fish upside down is that right so roddy the coddy uh, we can now print roddy the coddy on our envelopes um so i believe angela was the first one ever to receive a roddy the coddy envelope um with her stickers in so uh, well was... hide the address but that's that's our little envelope that's our little envelope so roddy the coddy <laughs> so um yeah it's quite uh it's quite cool um where was i uh, Dale Barnes said hello. Good evening, Dale. Thank you for joining us. Steve said hello. Steve, thank you for for joining Fortnite us. Fortnite fishing said hello. Fortnite fishing, thank you for joining us tonight, mates. Um, yeah. So if anybody missed out what I was saying, Pat said hello. Ah, oh, good evening, Pat. Let me hope say you hello are, to it. Say hello hope to you it are. First. Hope you are well, Pat. Wish I was fishing. Said hello. Wish I, I was that. fishing too. <laughs> Wish I, that's a cool name. That is a cool name. Jamie said it's a cracking channel, Wayne, and we all. We always love it, love supporting you. Thank you, Jamie. Mm. Thank you, Jamie. Wish I was fishing. I like that. Keith said hello. I don't know if I said that already. Good evening, Keith. Hope you are well, my friend. Uh, Mick asked if you picked a dress yet. Oh God, Mick. I thought we were friends. Um, and uh, wish I was fishing. Said Wayne. Is that um, t-shirt in the giveaway? Because you haven't caught on your white stick yet. <laughs> no. Right, guys. The t-shirt is in the giveaway, but you will have it made for your size. So, you know, that's an extra large. Obviously, if people may want Tim small. said if he wins, I can have the sweets. Tim said that you can have the sweets. As yeah. in, he's put, if I win, Jen, you can have the sweets. Yeah, Tim said, if I win, Jen can have the sweets. Laughy face. Oh, Tim? <sighs> Scott said, that's my downfall. I love sweets, so do I. <laughs> But Scott, I do you know what? Ten times bigger than I should be. See, I, I, I must admit, I really liked him. I think he's a cool guy. But in a way, I kind of want someone else to win so Jen don't get the sweets. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Essex said, hello Wayne, how are you? Sorry he's late, we've literally only not long started. Joe, we've only just started, mate. Hope you are. I hope you are well. Um, yeah, so basically, after this Top video... Chop Chip said hello. Hang on, I am finished. Good evening, Ke Neville Kelvin. Neville said hello. Good evening, Neville. Hi, Kelvin. Nicola said hello. She's there. Hi, Nicola. Thank you for... Lanky uh, Larry said hello. Lanky Larry. <laughs> I like that. I need to change the George name. George said hello. Good evening, George. Hope you are well, my friend. David said hello. There's a couple Hiya, of Hiya, David. Thank you for joining us. Well, I think I've nearly caught up. Hang on. Leave him alone. He'll stop me owing at you. Uh, my cat is down there and he's uh, jet black. And his name is Shimano because I named Richard him after. Richard has just said, Mr. Hoy said, sent you fifty pound to get Jen a bottle of Jack Daniels and buy something for the giveaway. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Mr. Hoy. You didn't have to do that, my friend. That's definitely not. not. 
like, I'm not being funny. God, Richard. Um, ah. Uh, it's out of focus a bit. I think it's my camera. I think it needs a clean. Yeah, I'm not being funny. Has anybody noticed that Jen's a little bit louder tonight? And Richard Hoy has just gone and got her, like, looking to buy her a I'm bottle of Jack louder. Daniels. Richard, what are you doing to me? Jack Daniels and sweets. Like, you think children hit high E numbers? Jen is terrible. <laughs> I'm only joking, Bay will love you really. Um, no, she's been good as good. Right. Um, Kelvin, get back to work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But um, yeah, no, guys, thank you very much for, for joining us tonight. Um, Kelvin's <sighs> laughing at you, upside down fish. Richard, like, oh, man, why did you do that? That's so kind of you. I don't, oh, man. Um, That's it, you stopped him yeah. talking. It's amazing. Guys, basically, all of this will be available and now more uh, because of Mr. Hoy, so a big fun. Can we have a big round of applause or a big yeah, thumbs up? Yeah, they're doing for, a round of applause yeah. at Little Fireworks. It's amazing. Nice one. Um, um, well done, Richard. Wish I was fishing <clears throat> said, Wayne, any idea if you'll be getting a hoodie made for sale? We can find out. If you want one, we can yeah, get one. Yeah, I am. I am definitely. Um, because this, lo this here... Um, let if me just, anyone's got any ideas of things I can draw... Give me two seconds, guys. Let me just... Oh, crikey. Right, so the hoodie that I want to get made is that logo, White Sticks and Reels, on the back of the hoodie, and then on the front, you've got the embroidered Roddy the Coddy, um, and I want that on the front of the logo. And I would, I'm going to try and get it done in um, like a Cobart Blue. I think it's Cobart Blue, is it? Like the Blue Shark. I'm, fascin I'm, I'm obsessed with oh, the Blue Shark. But uh, yeah, like a blue, uh, either blue or black. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely getting the hoodies done. I've got a few ideas for different the, hoodies as well. The lady we get it from is amazing. Her work is beautiful. She's not very good with the communication side Yeah, of I think she's just a bit busy at the moment. So um, we've got a couple of t-shirts that should be with us tomorrow, hopefully all being well. Thursday latest. Wood, um, which will then be sent out straight away. Um, <laughs> one of them is going to look really cool, which I will post on the Facebook page. Um, and maybe even in the... Because I think Jen set up a YouTube... A YouTube shop or something? No. It's on no. it's on Facebook. I've done it on Facebook. Oh, okay. I just haven't worked out. I'm not sure. very computer illiterate with having a transfer. <coughs> Excuse me. So yeah, YouTube that would yet. be that would be um right, can I catch coming up? to. Yes. Uh, old Eagle said hello. Bold Eagle, thank you for joining us again. Thank you, my friend. Another cool dude. And there's lots of clapping. Oh, uh, Bald Eagle, I hope your um your son had a good birthday last Friday. Hope you had a, Get you in, hope you had a good time. So, uh, um, Tim said, be right back, got to go to the shop. Jen, you have to share the sweets with Wayne. Nice one, Tim. <laughs> just rude. Fisho said, good evening, everyone. Just popping on to give a thumbs up and say hello. Daddy duties for me. Fair one, Fisho. Thank you for joining us, mate. Uh, yeah. Mr. Hoy said, please don't sing and play the guitar. Hashtag manky mackerel. <laughs> Do you know what? I've got a guitar upstairs. And autistic I've also got, angler says hello, he's on. Oh, autistic angler, thank you for joining us, mate. Hope you are well. Fishing uh, UK Glasgow, Glasgow said hello. Can't Fishing speak. UK Glasgow, thank you for joining us as well. Autistic angler, um, I've been watching your uh, last few videos, which have been uh, which have been really good. So keep um, up the good work, mate. I love Fishing it. said that um, sounds awesome, especially if Roddy the Coddy is bigger, bit bigger mm. right in the middle. Yes, yeah, so we could do the yeah. embroidered back logo. And then Roddy the Coddy well, as a print because you can't do it too big see, in embroidery. Because I've gone for the. Um, let me get a sticker. Kelsey says she, she's um, she'll model the t-shirt. Oh, cool. So she has yeah, to, she has uh, yeah. Choice. I was yeah. I was so Kev, Kevster has uh, ordered a, a t-shirt, the white sticks one. and white sticks and reels t-shirt, uh, a bit of a special one. Um, so I will post a picture of that, and she's going to model it, which is awesome. Because I was going to ask you to do that actually, because um, I like where you've gone with it. Um, Bold Eagle said, Wayne's got Wayne's got a great memory, great day, thanks, but awesome, mate. Awesome. I'm glad you had a good time. I'm glad you had a... So which, I don't know. <laughs> Kev just said, hashtag Manky Mackerel, pass it on. Yeah, fine, <laughs> right. So when I hit, <laughs> five, so if now. anybody's new, uh, when I hit 500 subs, somebody's going to win all of this, which is lovely. Um, but then I also have to dress up as a woman, go fishing in a public place and lick a mackerel. Um, I'll that's say, not, I think that sounds amazing. That's not my idea, um, but to be fair, yeah, I'll do it. I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not scared of anything. Um, but 
He does. You do realise that I've got that on video now, don't you? Yeah, that's fine. Which one's the white sticks and reels? That one? Yeah, it's upside down. Right, of course it is. <laughs> so, um, because I went for the Johnny Rogers symbol with this, um, and I would like it on a blue background, but thinking about it, one of my other ideas for a hoodie is to have a Roddy the Coddy um, on a like a really nice blue, but have him full size on the back, which would be quite cool. Um, now, if any once they're made, she can the lady can alter different things because I was like maybe not everybody will want a white stick on their Roddy the Coddy, um, so you know she can take the white stick off um, if anybody wants wants that done. Do you know what I mean? Ah, so um, <coughs> excuse me. So yeah, they can be. Slightly modified. She's she's good as gold. Um, it's just so very Kelvin's busy. just written really long words. I'm not even going to try and read that. I'm sorry, Kelvin. Uh, Kelvin, she hasn't even had any whiskey yet, mate. Oh God! <laughs> it's even got a little dots above the O. I'm never so, going to be able to read oh, that. Guys, Stephen B said a black hoodie, the way the t-shirt looks now, but a zip-up one would be cool. Yeah, well, actually, that. what with Steve with the um, skull and crossbones with because the shark is is actually she called Decca. Um, yeah, the shark is called Decca. Uh, named by my son um, he had to do a story for school <laughs> and uh, he called his shark Decker and that's what it's called but with the, the also, skull and crossbones in, in the, in the front on um, or on on the back do you think and also awesome fishing said can't wait to go to the beach for Wednesday morning I bet oh ah, cool which beach are you going to oh. um, Mr Hoy said he wants Roddy the Coddy upside down please <laughs> To be fair, if anybody has watched any of my videos, do, have you noticed that whenever I hold a fish up, he's always, always upside, upside down. down? He's always upside down. Uh, Anyone who knew it was all Wayne's idea, laughing my ass off, he loves dressing up. <coughs> that was Wish I Was Fishing. Right, Wish I Was Fishing? No, it wasn't all my idea. I don't like dressing up. I need to up. know this person's name. <laughs> it was, I believe it was... Um, Mix Rick. video PM tomorrow about t-shirt. It'd be me replying... Yeah, no worries, no worries. I'll um, I'll get to um, Steve on. said, yeah, Wayne on the front. On the front, yeah, that's cool. Um, white stick stays. Kelvin, Wait. the the white stick stays. Yeah, there's a new hashtag. <coughs> white stick stays. White sticks. White stick stays. That's cool. That's that's blog bald eagle. Yeah, a nice one. Thank you, bald eagle. Yeah, I I when I went in for the um when I had um hospital last week, I refused to break my white stick rod because um Jen's like. I don't want to take you in hospital without a white stick because they'd be like, why is she here and what's the matter with him? And I was like, no, I'm not breaking my fishing rod. <laughs> so, so I took the my symbol. Carl said low, said no, that will be wrong to take the white stick away. Fair one. Yeah, fair one. And Hiya, also Carl. fisherman, I think he said it's called Lee. Lee? Yeah. Maybe. That's cool. If I'm reading it right. Um, Kelvin, the thing that you gave me on Saturday when I seen you, is it all right to show it? Can I, can I show that? Would that what? be all right? The thing that I showed you that Kelvin made for me, it's in my bo my bag down there. Um, but I didn't want to show it just in case it's not okay. Yeah. Um, Lanky Larry said, hope Wayne is licking the mackerel from head to tail. We need a very long mackerel. We do. It's oh. all right. If all else fails, I'll buy one from <coughs> the fishmonger. <laughs> yeah, guys, uh, who's on my side and who's on this licking mackerel side? Everyone's on the licking mackerel side. Okay. Yeah, just... Um, if Kevin says it's okay to show it, then I'll show it. Um, but I won't, just in case, because it's... Oh. Kelvin, with the really long word that he put, he said it's a fermented herring in a tin that's the most stinky oh, thing in the world. Kelvin, what is a most... <laughs> See, for, all right, so I bet he's got one guys, as well. chip, chip chop chip in the chat is... is it's, not, it's chock chip. Oh, chock chip, sorry. Yeah. Um, in, in the chat is my very good friend, Kelvin. He's a long, long-term friend of the family. Like, goes out fishing with my dad and, and bike... It comes out on and our... And he said, yes, mate, go for it. Cool. Kelvin was actually there the day that I dislocated my leg on our off-road motorbikes. Find it hilarious. Got one. But Kelvin is just... So... When you think of all, if you, anybody's watched, um, oh, Wheeler Dealers, and you've got the, the Cockney geezer that buys all the, the cars, and then you've got his mechanic, Ed, who literally can make anything and everything. That is Kelvin. He can do anything. He's helped rebuild my motorbike, helped me with other bits and pieces. But I went and seen him on Saturday, and he made me this. And it's for helping, it's for making my rigs. So um, you can hold on to it here, or you can hang it up. And it's got two different points, two different sizes. 
So you can put tiny little swivels on that, tie your knot, and you can grab hold of it and pull. And the way, like, um, trust me, guys, this guy knows what he's doing. And that he said that there will not go. And he's had it up to, he's, I think he said he's had weight of up to 60 pound on that. Um, and it's not gone in stainless steel. And he is start, he's going to start making these. Um, so he's actually given me that to help me out. And uh, which I'm really grateful for, and they're really cool. It's really Maybe cool. Maybe we could buy one off them um, to put in the giveaway. Yeah, Kelvin, actually, mate, if you if you let me know how much you you're going to sell them for, I will buy one of these and I will put it in the 500 sub giveaway because I tell you now that is awesome. And yeah, you can hang it up in in your garage or your shed and you can pull well, down on that to make your rigs, um, or you can just take it with you. Great. I tell you what, it'd be good if you're like mullet fishing. And like you need to like do it tie rig, you need to use those tiny little swivels just on the rocks or wherever you might be mullet fishing on that side there because that's so small. But yeah, if anybody wants one, give um Kelvin a shout, chip chop chip, chop chip, um in the in the thingy. But yeah, Kelvin, I'll definitely buy one off you mate for the five hundred giveaway. That would be awesome. <clears throat> but yeah, thank you very much for that. That is I love that. So um yeah. And I'll be with you. So whilst, just doing before I forget. Whilst Jen quickly does anything, if anybody's, Carl's reminded me. If anybody's new, uh, basically this is for the 500 Carl have sent it. sub giveaway. And there will be a video going up. Dio are real, there's braid, there's sweets, there's rig wallets. There's so Show much. Show that multicoloured thing that's in front of you, that tower, because somebody asked what it was. This? Put the reel down. I don't want to put the reel down, I like the reel. This here? No, put it down. Put your right arm out. That one. Oh, right, yeah. This, guys, is um, rig winders. Um, so they're like the foam rig winders, so you can r run your rigs around them and hook them in so they don't unspool. And you can fit these in in most um, rig wallets, and you can actually get special rig wallets that are like a tubular shape, so you can slot them in, and you can also get like a box one as well. Um, might even find one. Might, with the money that I've been given tonight by Richard Hoy, I might even look to chuck one of them in as, as well if I can find, if I can find one. Uh, yes, yeah, so that may end up going in there. I'm not going to say. Somebody definitely. asked how much um, the hoodies are likely to be, and I think we worked it out. It'd be thirty-five to forty. Yeah, I, with postage though, that's included. Our yeah, postage. it will be thirty. We're going to try and do it for thirty-five pounds. Um, it might be closer to forty, but don't hold me to those prices. But it's it's going to be in and around the thirty. It all depends to on 40, how much so, how much the hoodie weighs once um, we've got it made, and how much the postage costs. But yeah, we have. We will be seeing her this week because we've got to pick up Kevster's and Ryan's and I think possibly Carl's t-shirt as well. I'm not sure whether so, his will be quite ready um, yet. Yeah, so we'll, we'll see her this week and we will uh, find out for sure. 100% because I want one. Pat, I really want one. Pat said, love the designs of the stickers. We'll be ordering them on Friday for me and my grandson. Oh, thank you, Pat. That's that's kind, of mate. I'll, I'll drop you a little message after. And Bold Eagle this. said, "Sorry, brother, you did say it on the live, Manky Mackerel." Yeah, no, right, no, right, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but no, but yeah, but no, but. Um, oh, and uh, also, God. Fisherman has obviously been watching because <laughs> I said you got to bite the head off a mackerel. We can't do that. I'm afraid he'll break his jaw. Yeah, um, yeah. So Jen and I were talking about biting the head off the mackerel, and to be fair, I'm I'm quite a ballsy guy. I mean. You know, nothing really phases me. And I was like, yeah, I'll do it. But then, um, without going into too much detail, I broke my gum out of my mouth. You well, did I, well, I didn't. Somebody broke my gum out of my mouth with my front six teeth still attached. And I can't bite down on uh, like a raw carrot or um, or an apple very well. Um, so trying to do it with a mackerel <laughs> wouldn't work. Kevs has said, just shared with hashtag monkey mackerel is actually a real thing now. <laughs> you started a trend, <coughs> Kev. <laughs> Pat, George, uh, you guys are like my, my Nicola, John, you guys are all like my top mods there. Uh, Carl, can somebody block Jamie asked Kester? how much the um, <laughs> not that. colour was. Sorry, Jamie asked what colour. What? <laughs> how much the not colour was. Oh, Jamie, um, I'm We're not the not colour. I like that. The not, um, Kelvin is the chap. I will find out. I will post it on the Facebook page once I know. Um, but um, yeah, I'm I'm not sure because he, he, uh, Kevin's still working out. That that there is only new. He only made it on Saturday for me. Um, and uh, yeah, guys, you should see his like. Carl said, "Sounds good at 35." Yeah, Carl, if I can do it for 35, mate, I I will for sure. It just yeah, I, I will. I will try to do it as cheap as, as 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 possible. Um, yeah, hundred percent. Um, 
Yeah, Kelvin literally can. There was a part of my motorbike. Now, my motorbike is 2003, and there's a part that you couldn't get anymore. And Kelvin just pulled out a piece of aluminium and just lay, ladled it, I think it is, um, in his garage and just built this part from my motorbike, just like that. And yeah, the guy's a genius. Um, so, uh, and he's actually doing something for me right now. Um, which I'm not going to tell anybody what it is. Uh, you'll have to wait until the next video that comes out to uh, to see what he's done. But it's pretty awesome, that's for sure. Oh, what's wrong with my camera? And yeah, basically getting getting on to that, Kelvin. Uh, stop watching the live. Um, answer any questions about how much, uh, but then get back to work. <laughs> I'm joking, Kelvin. I can see my head. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, guys, if anybody's new to the, the, the live, I don't there, know what's wrong with um, basically the. The giveaway video will be up right after this live, and all you gotta do is like it, make sure you subscribed, share it, and then comment sweets. Um, and then you will be allocated a number, um, and we will then, as soon as we are able to hit the 500 milestone, uh, we will go live on the following Sunday. So we're, we're trying to keep it as quick as possible. So say we hit the 500 on the uh, Wednesday or the Thursday, that Sunday, we will be going live regardless and we will draw it there and then on the live um, and somebody will win it. And like we said at the beginning, this is going to go international. So if anybody is abroad, um, please feel free to enter for sure and we will package it up. The sweets might be a problem getting it abroad um, because I know there's, there's rules and restrictions on that. But I always look after them. Um, I will swap it for something else. <laughs> yeah, we'll swap it I for will something, buy something else. Yeah, we'll, we'll do something else with it um, for sure. And uh, but yeah. That's, uh... Nicholas said, "Sorry, Kevs is my friend and queen of the pairs. <laughs> I can't and won't block her." Didn't Mick start the pair? So surely, Nicola, you should be the queen of the pairs. Um, Neville said, "Can always <clears throat> liquidise the mackerel head. It would slide down and no need to bite it." God, do you know what? Oh, I knew Kevs there was going to be bad news for me. <laughs> Lanky Larry said, "When Wayne has done it, we can call him the mackerel muncher." The macro muncher would be the mac. <laughs> the macro muncher. Pat and John both saw me eye. They said, "Pick a boo, nice eye." Oh, uh, I'll tell you now. Ah, oh, the macro muncher could be the next T-shirt. <laughs> it would be the five hundred sub T-shirt coming out. Macro muncher. <laughs> Steve asks, "What sort of motorcycle you got?" Uh, Steve, I've got a Beta Reb Free 2003 uh, 200cc, which is a trials bike. So it's the one that kind of dips down and you stand up on it. Um, and it's not a case about going fat when it is. I like going fast. But it's a case of trying to get from like A to B and it's like technical riding. Um, and uh, at some point this year, we are oh, going to go out. Fish uh, TV came on. I didn't see them, but they just said um, time for bed night. Blackfisher TV, thank you for joining us, mate. Uh, Jen Mr. Any comments that you may have put up, so apologies on that. But thank you for for popping on and saying hi, mate. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I might put a little video up of of uh, me on the trials bike so you guys can see. But uh, yeah, the day I dislocated my knee on it, Kelvin was actually there, and he literally just walked up. Steve said he knows the model. Yeah, yes. Yeah, ah, oh, Steve, I do. Um, yeah, I just I came off the bike. Uh, Kelvin walked over with my dad. My dad's reaction was... Is your camera on autofocus? It's on the front camera, um, so I don't know. Hang on. You don't want to get my face in it again. Yeah, my dad was like, Wayne, get up. I was just laying on the floor, dislocated knee. My dad was like, get up, Wayne. And Kelvin was just looking like, skid marks. Cool. <laughs> I'll never forget that day. So, uh, yeah. It's no, it's not an autofocus. But there isn't an autofocus because it's a front camera, so I don't know what's wrong with it. Wait, what's the matter? Is it out of focus or...? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Does it need a clean? No, I, I don't clean it. I was going to say my cloth is there. It's in my case. An excuse to try and get you know what, 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 my blood what? Uh, uh, my life's over. Start off with me upside down. No volume. <laughs> or a blurry camera. <laughs> no, do you know what? I, th I think it's prism. Because the prism writing's out of focus as well. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, sorry guys. Yeah, focus is fine for Pat. Okay, yeah. cool. Nice one, Pat. Thank you. Well, John said it looks okay to him too. Oh, to be fair, it looks alright on the TV. Cool. Oh, I don't know. But yeah, basically... But I just said, John, do uh, Jen, don't be shy, we're all friends. You don't want to look at mother. <laughs> no. Oh, guys. Uh, it could uh, be the foil bag in view. Do you want to move the bag? Kevs has 
said, Wayne be afraid, be very afraid. Mick started the pairs, take over the world. And then she put two frog emojis. <laughs> I am afraid. I am. Um, but no, I, I just wanted to come on and say, you know, people have been so kind to donate. And I just wanted to say, so, like, a massive thank you. Because um, you're making this happen for me. And, uh, well, for us, actually. Um, and uh, I'm looking to bring so much more to the channel. Um which uh, will ho hopefully start in the uh, in the next couple of days once we're able to get out fishing. Uh, Jen and I have a few bits and pieces, or oh, and and Matt, the cameraman, um, we have a few bits and pieces up our sleeves, and um, we're looking to bring all of that um, and to uh, to show people what 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 anybody can do, or how much fun we can have out there, um, and that's what it's all about. And uh, yeah, it feels like it's going really well. We've had some lovely comments and messages um, from from people, and you guys coming on and getting involved. It's lovely. <laughs> and uh, had a nice little chat with Mick on the phone the other day. So thank you very much for your help um, there, Mick. Kev's have started the pair movement. Oh, was it Kev's there? Oh, yeah. sorry. And Stephen <clears throat> Stephen B said, Wayne, if I win the sweets, if I win the sweets are yours. Don't tell Jen. Cheers, mate. Cheers, buddy. <laughs> and Neville said, No good. You cleaning? You missed a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Typical. That <laughs> it sounds like my cleaning. <laughs> Do you know what? I actually we've got um, we've got we've got big dogs. We've got huskies and and um, well we've got husky cross with a check wolf and a malamute and the hair that goes up because it's all like laminated flooring and stuff. But the the carpet going up the stairs sometimes get covered with dog hair and I hoovered it. Um, mm. I hoovered it and I was really proud of my job. It took me ages and then Jen comes out and she's like, I thought I asked you to hoover the stairs and I'm like, I have and she's like. Oh my god! <laughs> so. Literally, looked like nobody had touched it. Yeah, that's uh, I, I did my best. It was funny. Mm. Yeah, but Kelvin, if you're there, mate, give us a let us know how much you want for these, and I will, uh, I will definitely, ha I will definitely get one of these for sure, um, in the, uh, in the giveaway, um, yeah, but that that is cool. That is proper cool. And uh, yeah, you can really get two different things on there. So that's yeah, stainless steel as well, and that is so strong. But yeah, genius that boy, genius. <coughs> <coughs> Any comments, Jennifer? Two to be fair, blurry is a better look. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> I wish I was fishing. Wish I was fishing. To be fair, blurry is a better look. <laughs> Actually. Welcome to my world, guys. <laughs> Rich asked when you're out fishing next. Friday. Uh, Friday, for sure. 100% Friday. Um, and if I can get Jen out tomorrow. tomorrow. Um, so... <laughs> Bold Eagle said you need to turn the hoover on next time. <laughs> I thought there was something wrong. <laughs> no, um, hopefully we'll be out fishing um, tomorrow if I if I can but that might just be a one for me and Jen to just uh, relax and spend some time together because although we've been on lockdown together and you, but you've you've got the children so we haven't managed to like just just sit and just be just be us without us well in the yeah, evenings we can I know that like brightness it's alright though because my eye is open my eye is it open wasn't. so alright well, <laughs> try but uh, yeah it's getting it's getting there it is getting there I haven't got the sunglasses on either. As Neville said he's fishing Dover tomorrow. You might catch a ferry. <laughs> Rich asked how you write. Rich and Neil asked how you write. Ah, oh, good evening, Rich and Neil. I hope you guys are. They've been on well. for ages. Ah, it's because I just said Rich. I didn't say Rich oh, and Neil. So you okay. didn't yeah, no. Uh, yeah, no. It's it's uh, it's okay. Um, it's better today. Um, not hurting as much. Yesterday, I actually said to Jen, I was like, oh my. It must have been about midday. I said to you, I was like, oh, my eye feels okay. And um, we opened it. And um, I had it open for a little while. And then Zach came over. And um, we just had a nice little cuddle. And then I started, we had a little bit of a tickle fight. And as I tickled him, his hand flew up. And he punched me, bang, right in the eye. Um, and because of my reactions to the eye, or both eyes, I don't, like, blink and stuff. So his hand went, like, straight into my eye. <laughs> I was like, God, that hurt. Like that seriously hurt, but um, you know, I obviously it didn't make on because you don't want to upset, like you don't want to upset him or anything like that. So we just carried on having a little bit of a 
little bit of a play before he came over. Like, all Wayne wanted to do was cry. Yeah, he waited for him to go out the room and get some Lego or something before I burst out crying to Jen. <laughs> but no, mate, it's uh, it's it's feeling it's feeling better. So yeah, thank you. Um, Valley and Tackle is it A D E? Yeah. Is that Aid? A D? Sure. A D E. Yeah, that's Valley that's and Tackle. They were on the Hi, other mate. Day. Yeah, you guys were on Friday. Is that the ones that did it with the disabled yes. children? Ah, oh, cool. Thank you for for joining. Um, yeah, if anybody's. You have a bit of a Bear Grylls look about you today. You had a shave and everything today. Uh, do you know what I said to Jen? I was like, I'm going to have a shave because I felt, felt a little bit scruffy. And um, uh, <laughs> I was watching. Well, I wasn't watching. I was laid on the sofa on Sunday just resting, um, listening to Andrew from Keep Fishing Live. And if memory serves right, I think it was Nicola that said that he need, needed to have a shave or something. So I was like, right, I'm going to shave just in case Nicola's on. <laughs> I don't want her telling me I need a shave. Um, I think it was Nicola. I can't remember. Yeah, I'm sure it was. Um, so yeah, a bit of a bear grills. Oh, that was quite cool. Um, Tim said nothing wrong with the little adult time. Yeah, It's exactly. even better when we go out of the house and then I'm not pestered. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Um, wish, wish I was fishing said love relaxing on an evening with your life so much fun banter and oddly relaxing <laughs> with our gobs going thank you um, keep keep fishing uh, no who was that sorry um, wish I was fishing wish I was fishing that was it yeah I like that name yeah um, oh, I'm glad so you Lee Lee I think so I've got a brain like a fish though no I think Lee was was Nicola, uh... Mick said Nicola hates beard Wayne Okay. I don't like a beard, I just like stubble. Yeah, Jen just likes a bit of stubble, which is a pain because I don't, so when she kisses me it really hurts. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, babe. Uh, no, I'm really joking. Um, you found yeah. it so far too funny, then. <laughs> <laughs> you knocked on the table. I, uh, yeah, <clears throat> um, yeah. Yeah, no, um Nicola, not keen on a hairy dude. No, that's, that's, that's fair. Do you know what? Um, uh, I'll come back to... To that in a second because um oh can you just tell me the name sorry of valley fishing a a, a d e it's a, spelled. yeah valley fishing is I'm it sorry i'm not very good at reading um guys basically um steve's sure she's stubborn. um she, 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 she. <laughs> <laughs> nice one steve <laughs> um uh um Oh, I've got just pictures of bearded men in my head now. <laughs> it's, uh, Mick Foley is what I've got, that big Grizzly Adams type thing. Um, yeah, guys, uh, for anybody that's new, this uh, 500 sub giveaway, the, there's a video going up after this one. Uh, all you got to do is like, share it, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, and then comment sweets. Um, and then you'll be allocated a number. It will all go through the PC. Um, and then when we hit 500 subs, yes, I will go fishing dressed as a girl. Yes, I will lick a mackerel. Um, but the Sunday, as soon as we hit the 500 subs, if whatever weekday that may be, that Sunday we will go live that evening and somebody will win all of this and the Blind Dangler t-shirt, um, uh, the White Sticks and Reels one, which is behind me, uh, but that will be made to order, so, you know, different Kev people, different sizes. Go, so. um, Kev, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, my darling. Thank she you. said she'll do her best pose when it comes. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that, 100%. Um, Hundred percent. So I hope you hope you like it. But Kev, Kev says uh, ordered a t-shirt and she's gone a bit crazy with hers, which is cool. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Um, well, you know what I mean. Like, yeah. Um, anyway, so that will all be in. You've got somebody new. Michael Ball said, "New to your channel, mate. You had a shout out from the Devon Fishing Diary group. Keep up the good work." Ah, oh, thank you, Michael Ball. Thank you very much. That's really kind, Devon. The Devon, which group? Sorry? Devon Fishing Diary. Devon Fishing Diary. Is that on Facebook, is it? Or is that YouTube? Oh, I don't know. I'll have a look at that. I'll have Would a look for them for Facebook? sure. Um, um, thank you very much. And thank you for joining us today. Thank Tim, you. I appreciate it. Just quickly, Tim said that his missus <coughs> hates it when he shaves a beard. He shaved two years ago because his kids had never seen him without one. I would have loved to see <laughs> that reaction. Oh, that's what I was going to... Yeah, nice one, Tim. Do you know what? Um, my, uh, my best friend... Uh, Jam Jar, we call him. His name's Andrew. Um, he's in the video that when I went out and caught the Unulet Ray uh, aboard Stuart Pike's boat. Um, so Jam Jar and I have been friends. We met each other at the Wildlife Park when um, George said he's got to go. George, thank you for popping on, mate, and and uh, I hope you stay stay well and safe and and well, mate. 
Um, but yeah, Jamjar um, is in the Navy and he has got a full, fully fledged beard. I mean, proper Grizzly Adams, like massive beard. But because he's in the Navy, he has to keep it nice and tidy. Um, uh, not last year, but the year before, his little girl turns four. Um, and at the birthday party in their garden, they had paid for a Disney princess. I think you can pay for like a Disney princess to come and spend the day with your, your, your child. Um, he turned out to be that one from Frozen. And I think she was American, this girl. And oh, uh, she, wa- your ears. She, she walked in and uh, literally John Joe came up to me and he was like, Oh, dude, you should see the princess. She's fine. And next thing you know, he disappeared, went away. Came back next thing, completely clean shaven. He looked about twelve. <laughs> I was like, "What are you doing?" And his wife was like, "What have you done?" And he's like, "Ah, oh, um, yeah, it's just irritated me." And I was like, "I know your game, mate. <laughs> You're trying to like make yourself like younger for the Disney princess. <laughs> your daughter's for your for your birthday party. <laughs> that was brilliant, wasn't it, Jen? Do you remember that? Mm. So uh, yeah, the things men do. <clears throat> what are you gonna say, babe? Tim said my son asked to see my ID. I love kids' reactions and stuff like that. Oh, Tim, you're going to have to send us all a picture now of you with and without a beard. (laughs) Um, Actually, we should go on on record now. All all the blokes who are watching now are not allowed to have a shave at all until I've hit 500 subs. No. (laughs) I was going to say, they may end up looking like the wizard out of Harry Potter. Was it? Um, oh, shoot. Can't know. Who is that? Dumbledore. <laughs> I'm not a Harry Potter fan, sorry. No, don't do that. You ruin it. Um, Rich. Rich, you know, said, um, so you're not doing a mackerel head. Are you going to eat a ragworm instead? No, Rich. Rich what, what's the matter with Rich? <laughs> Oh, Rich, did you give Graham that, that pay rise that we spoke about? Huh. Social media. I'm trying to catch up. Oh, she's trying to catch up, guys. Sorry. But I hope everybody is well and having a good Monday. Peter said that he's donated um, to add something to the giveaway. Ah. Uh. And Bold Eagle said Devon Fishing Diaries on Facebook. Ah, oh, cool. We'll check them out. We'll check them out for sure. Um, thank you very much. If anybody's part of um, the Devon Fishing Diaries, uh, thank you. Thank you very much. And Peter, thank you, my friend. You didn't have to do that, but thank you very much. We'll make sure that we get something um, special with the with the money um, for sure. I mean, we've got some really nice stuff here, but it'd be nice to add a little bit more um to, to it for sure but i mean i'm extremely grateful for absolutely for everything and um and to richard hoyes as well so um it might not be a, we only may have a few hours fishing tomorrow because jen likes to go shopping and um we might have to get a few other bits and pieces for the for the giveaway so um tim said he'll try and find a picture and post it on facebook and pat said he has to shave every day for work he has no choice slappy face <laughs> shame his face must get well cold yeah uh, yeah, especially if if he's up like down here, we don't really get it's not it don't get too cold. <laughs> but oh. Valley said, "I'm bold. If I grew a beard, I'd look like I was upside down." <laughs> Fair one, yeah. <laughs> Mick said, "Oh, Wayne, you've done me now. She's having a ro- having a go at me." Oh, why? What? Why? I don't know about the beard, facial hair. I don't know. Oh, why is Mick not had a shave? And Nicka, leave him alone. <laughs> What's the matter with you, love? <laughs> I had a nice little chat with Mick on the phone the other day, and uh, he gave me some 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 really good help, helpful tips, and uh, and whatnot, which you guys will hopefully see see soon on the uh, channel as well. So uh, big big shout out to Mick and Nicola. Stop bullying him. Actually, beard. Go. Yeah, she said beard. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> he, he obviously wants to grow a beard, and she won't let him. <laughs> yeah, Mick should be allowed to grow a beard. You know. Depends how much he loves Nicola, doesn't it? Yeah. Bit of a Captain Captain Jack Sparrow type beard, like plait it and put beads and stuff in it. That's just stupid. That's Mr. The... Bond said, "Sorry, I started on the Jaffa cakes. I'm <clears> so <throat> jealous." Oh. Still didn't buy Jaffa cakes the other day after them saying it. No, God, yeah. For sake. 
Jaffa cake, that would be... Uh... That's fine, I've got a big, massive Toblerone to myself. Yeah, Jen got a nice big Toblerone for Mother's Day and some other nice bits I of... I got to choose my own chocolate, it was amazing. Mm. Yeah. The bonuses of having a blind husband, I get to choose what I want. <laughs> yep. <laughs> And you don't like Toblerone, uh, so I don't yeah, have to share I, it. I, I basically said to Jen, because of lockdown, it's going to be hard for me to... I, I couldn't go in the shop on my own, and obviously... Nicholas I think, said, um, I know, and by the way, I normally stick up for you. Hey, oh, what, mate? All right, sorry, Nicola. <laughs> sorry, Nicola. <laughs> um, yeah, normally, <laughs> like, I go in... I said I had beads in my beard once, never again. <laughs> <laughs> Tim, if you've got a picture of that, let us see it. <laughs> But yeah, with with lockdown and like Mother's Day and stuff, I can't go in the shops with like my sisters or anybody to help me um, get some presents for Jen. So I said to Jen this year for Mother's Day, like, oh, this new mind, hashtag, um, Nick the Beard, um, with with Jen minds, you know, just picking up some chocolates and stuff because of safety and, and everything. So she said, yeah. So um, actually, she jumped at the chance and she's bought all the stuff that I don't like, so she doesn't have to share. <laughs> and yes, Mick with a beard would be cool. I mean, I don't know what Mick looks like Mick without said, a beard. There's no point. Every time I'm in hospital, they shave me. Fair one. Yeah, fair one. Yeah, when I had my appendix out, they knocked me out, and then when I came round, I put my hand down, and they'd shaved my leg, didn't they, Jen? <laughs> For some reason, they'd shaved my leg. So I had a what big... was that? When I had my appendix out, um, they shaved my leg, didn't they? So I don't know why, but apparently they stuck a monitor or something on my leg. I was like, what, you couldn't just rest it on the bed? <laughs> Kev's just sent me a video of that <coughs> fish thing that Kev... Ke <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> uh, I, don't, I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Kev said. He's literally going... Whoop. Yeah. A bit like when you got mackerel rained and what I'm like. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. I ain't got a problem licking a mackerel, but... As long as I can de-scale it. Kev said, licking a mackerel wing. Yeah, I'll lick it when I hit 500. As, but I want to de-scale it. David said, great live, good night all. David, thank you for... For Sorry us. if I've missed any comments. I'm trying to keep up. She's it's trying to keep up hard. with the comments, guys. Sorry. Um, yeah, thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you for joining <laughs> us. Mick said, really hate Bic razors. So do I. I always cut myself. Mm. Uh, Mr. Bald Eagle says he's off. Mr. Great Bald Eagle, thank you for, for joining us and Peace popping out. on. Stay safe, my friends. <clears throat> I hate Bic razors as well. Every time. I'm reading, sorry. Oh, okay. <clears throat> oh, Valley said he had his leg shaved when he had his appendix out too. I wonder why. Yeah. I'm going to have to find out. Yeah, I don't know why they I'm just... Yeah, it's weird. It's weird. Yeah, I just... Pat said ma um, mackerel tastes okay raw, so licking it will be no problem. Yeah, but I'm not See, gonna. It's, I'm... it's kind of like I don't want to get a mouthful of scale. You know when you catch a macro and you, it's all up your hands and yeah. you, whatever you touch. Just, yeah. I don't want scales in my mouth. You got to. I can descale it. No. Before I lick you, it. You've got to get. You've got to get scales on your tongue. It won't be worth it else. Guys, what do you think? I, I think we should. Scale, I think scale, we should de scale, scale, scale it. Scale. I think we should descale it. No. What do you mean no? No, I think you should lick it from the tail to its head. Oh that yeah, way. that's a good point. And then all the scales oh. will. To be come fair, Jim, I don't think it's going to make much difference with a dead mackerel. I think I'm getting scaled up, and oh, you'll have to catch one because I think they descale them at the fishmongers. No, they Sunday. don't. Oh, fair deal. Yeah, Pat, that's not happening, mate. <coughs> what did Pat write? Lick it head to tail. No, I said head to yeah, tail. Yeah, head to tail. Head he to said tail. scales. <laughs> yeah, that's right. See, Pat's on my side. Uh, see, I like Pat. Carl said descale first. That's just that's, yeah, that's absolutely. Not on. You not want. All right, fine. If it's scaled, then straight straight away. <laughs> Nick said, "Stop being so girly." Well, you're obviously talking Mr. about Bond me. Mr. Bond said, "Man up, Wayne." <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bond, what does what does Mrs. Bond say? <laughs> hey, let's get Mrs. Bond on the chat. Let's, what does she say? Is she going to be? <laughs> Nicholas, is she going to be in my corner, Mr. Bond? <laughs> Nicholas said, "It's because you got to wear a hospital gown. That's why they shave your legs." <laughs> Leg emoji. Oh, those those blooming hospital gowns. Jeez. Oh. Yeah, that was, that was weird. Ooh. <clears throat> <laughs> Never said he always shaves his legs, darlings. 
Learning so much about my my viewers. <laughs> oh, like Larry said, you got to do it as it comes out of the sea. You catch one, you lick it. That's fine. It might be a while. <laughs> well, you, you're halfway there, <coughs> so it might be a little while yet. Anyway, love. Yeah, I think we're on something like 252 subscribers, which is really cool. Yes, um, 252. So thank you to everybody that has subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed, if you would like to, please do so. Uh, just like if you would like to like tonight's video, that would be awesome. But don't feel you have to. I'm I'm just so grateful for all the support um, that that uh, that we've got here at the Blind Angler. So thank you very very much indeed. Um, yeah, I love it. Mm -hmm. Caught a fish jump then. It kind of made a splash noise. Oh, yeah. I'm just waiting for Jen to give us some comments, some feedback. Pat said they won't shave my legs when I go for my up, That's for sure. You'll probably be sedated when they do it. You won't even know. <laughs> yeah, they did. I didn't know when that they had done mine. I just came around when I came around. It was just like, the hell, what was happened to my leg? So, uh, yeah, I, yeah. I asked the nurse. I was like, why have I got a patch missing on my leg? And she was like, oh, they've shaved it and they stick a monitor there. Peter like, said, as long as it's just your legs. <laughs> yeah. What to Neville? <laughs> I think Jen waxed my part of my leg once, didn't you? Yep, yeah, you were being an arse, so I stuck a wax strip yeah, on your leg. I swear there, Jennifer. But yeah, it's uh, yeah, she stuck a wax strip on my leg and. Which was mission said if you do scale it, you might as well lick ice. Oh, yeah, yeah, but you wouldn't like. You, oh, <laughs> oh Fally and Tucker said that they share on their Facebook page. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, yeah, do you know what, I think <clears throat> what you do is uh, was great. Actually, can you make a note of that, Jen? Because I wouldn't mind... I did screenshot it. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, fair enough. Because if you've got my phone, Jen, then we could like that page or, or follow it, because that would be a nice one to follow. Um, I haven't got your phone. Okay. But yeah, we're, we'll, um, we'll follow that, because that, that's cool. And I, I totally get what you're doing there with the with the children. Because um, we, we signed... Um, Zachary up to a fishing club and Matt my cameraman uh, he's also signed up Corey to the same fishing club because we think it's important that the boys get out and have a good time um, and we both did say that when the when I got little, a well done Jen um, and Stephen said Jen being an uh, Wayne being an arse surely not exactly Steve I totally agree um, <laughs> of course I'm not um, yeah so and we said about getting the girls involved with the club as well and uh yeah the roving rods club is is a good one down here the junior section is is uh is it's got a lot of juniors in it and um they all seem really really nice and, and helpful and friendly so um i think getting the juniors out 100 percent, and then you know if they're with a disability then you know absolutely brilliant because we went we went squidding matt and i for the first time in october ever um, actually down at Elphinstone and there's a young lad that came over and started talking to us and um, say thank you to Carl thank you Carl what for sending you eight weights in the post ah oh, thank you Carl that's really kind I look I forward to um, giving them a giving them a go thank you very much that's really kind thank you my friend um, but yeah since we've been fishing we've seen a couple of, of children with um, with disabilities and uh, and young adults and do you know what they don't they don't care about their, their disability they're just so happy to be out and about and enjoying life you know and um it's i think it's absolutely great so hats off to you mate for sure and uh yeah good work for absolutely brilliant i love that love those kind of things um never said my wife likes the raw mackerel her name is sushi wong <laughs> Neville. <laughs> Tim said, my three older sisters wax a spot on my leg. Evil. Oh, I was still laughing at <laughs> Oh, wax a spot on your leg. Oh. Oh. Wishing I was fishing said, when I had to be resuscitated, they shaved my chest. Like, yeah, we've we got time for him not to die, LOL. <laughs> oh. Nick said, that's awesome stuff, Wayne. Ah, oh, thank you, Mick. Mr. Bond says, Mrs. B loves raw Mackie. Oh, she? Oh. 
See, it's a thing. See, you're worried about So Mrs. Mackerel. Bond is a mackerel muncher as well, then? Yeah. Right. <laughs> right. See, I thought Mrs. Bond was like the normal one out of the two. <laughs> Only joking, Mr. Bond. Double six and three quarters, better not. He might be around here in a minute with a gun. <laughs> a license to kill. You're plonker. Take dis disabled kids fishing and also young carers gives the parents and the carers a couple of hours break. The smiles on the kids' faces faces make everything worthwhile. Oh yeah, hundred uh, percent. Peter also said um, after that saying, "I take an autistic lad out fishing as no one will take him." You found that for a long time, didn't you? That it was yeah. just people found it too much hassle to help. I don't think people find it too much hassle to help. I think they're nervous about it and they don't know how to be with someone that's disabled or with a disability because I think um, they worry too much and therefore they're not themselves and then that puts them on edge and because they're not being yourself, themselves, you then feel that which then makes you a little bit more tense and it doesn't flow the way it should, um, you know, so yeah. Um, like there was, um, <clears throat> I, I'm going to film it um, if I can, but um, on Saturday I got a phone call from Marcus, uh, who is uh, he's a little bit older than myself, and he lives up in Exeter, and he is a volunteer with the RNIB, and I met him via doing the RNIB, and we set up blind snaps together, um, basically getting blind people into photography, and uh, he phoned me up and he was just like. Well, basically, he phoned me up to moan at me um, because on my last live, I said about how Rosie is doing a two and a half mile swim um, and you've got Mark, who is going into the World Championships um, with um, nunchucks um, and these two people are both registered blind. Um, but I did mention about his mission ambitions. So he watched the live and phoned me up and he was like, you didn't give me a shout out. <laughs> so, um, but we have a right good bit of banter. And he said to me, I've never caught a fish. I've never been fishing in my life. Um, and he's actually got the same eyesight condition that I do. Um, so um, he's, a, he's a good lad. And he actually plays the turntables. It's well into his music and stuff. But he plays the turntables and um, yeah, he's, he's registered blind too. So I said, once lockdown's out of the way, mm -hmm. he's only up in Exeter, which is only, um, I don't know, 30 miles or so up the road, I think. Maybe a bit further. Um, but we'll have a little meet up. And um, I, yeah, I'll take Marcus out fishing and we'll film it because that will definitely be the blind leading the blind and then um, we'll get Marcus to fish and yeah, it'd be good to see him. So uh, that'd be cool. Mr. B <coughs> said, uh, no, she's out of the room. She doesn't like him, won't eat him. <laughs> <laughs> and um, Mick said... You had me going then, Mr. Bond. <laughs> Mick said, I totally... Um, I shave totally if I've got loads of appointments. It's easier. Fair. The nurses thought it was funny to shave my face, shave a face on my chest, hence the full shave. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Oh, that is cool. Yeah. The only normal one here appears to be Jen. <laughs> who said that? <laughs> Wish I was out fishing. So who said that? Wish I was out fishing. Wish I was out fishing. The only normal one here seems to be Jen. Mm -hmm. That says something. <laughs> like me. No, let me tell you, Jen is not allowed to play Monopoly in anybody's household because of how bad she gets. I'm not allowed. No, Monopoly is banned. Yep. I'm not allowed to play that game. Yeah. Okay. And when I had when I had the eye surgery on Wednesday, um, I was in bed obviously a lot earlier than Jen was, and when she came up, I rode over to give her a cuddle. She gave me a little cuddle, and she went, "Right, get off now." And I was just like, well, I was feeling sorry for myself and a bit like out of it. As always. And um, yeah, I think I was a bit more out of it than anything else. And um, I was like, no, I want to cut her. And she's like, get off, I'll poke you in the eye. <laughs> Seriously? She would have opened my eye up and. <laughs> I would never have she done would, that. I know. She wouldn't have done it, but she threatened it. <laughs> it would feel so good, but no one would have. Yeah. Get off, as I'll poke you in the eye. <laughs> right. Bill's a competitive too, Jen. Um, do you want to end it so I can put up your yeah, competition? No, we'll have a little bit longer. Okay.
Yeah, guys, if anybody's new today and you have liked or subbed or anything like that, thank you so much. I uh, really appreciate Mr. everybody's B support. Mr. B said, so may thank he you. ask, is your eye feeling better? <clears throat> Mr. Bond, yeah, it, yeah, it is. It's due and eye drops. It's due, yeah, it's due and eye drop in a minute. It's a little bit, you know. Um, but no, it, it does. It feels it feels, it feels, feels better. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just... Um, I'm able to open it for... A little while and then it just kind of get a bit tired and it closed for for a bit and then i'm able to open it again but yeah it's, it's definitely going down the right the right track and everything so that's all Steven, that's all good thank Steven you Steven B thank you. said um just jen shave you no i do it myself no i do it on myself um apart from when it gets to a side do, do, yeah do you do it, um like if um if jen cuts my hair and she's got the clippers i'll be like oh jen give us a shave while you're there um so, and she will, which is fine. Um, but no, I, I, I shave myself, to be fair. What Jen likes to do, though, is not shave me, but if she finds, like, a long hair, then she likes to pluck me like a chicken. And once she's found one long hair, um, then she'll search my body for others, um, which is annoying, because you just can't get away from her. And then once she's found one, you've just got to let her pluck it. Oh, she just won't. She will just hound you. It doesn't matter where you go. It's like... So it just eats away at her and she's like I can just feel it staring at me <laughs> staring at me so yeah she will hunt you down until she plucks it and the amount of time she gets the wrong hair <laughs> it's unbelievable uh, Mick said he, he forgot to tell you that he used <clears throat> to teach children fishing too oh that's cool Mick that is cool Nicola likes that she finds it hilarious she's laughing what you plucking me like a yeah. chicken yep I'm waiting for the chicken emojis <sighs> yes no yeah Oh, Mick, no, that's really cool, mate. That is really cool. I am. Um, I, 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 I just think that's the way to go. To be, to be fair, like especially in this day and age with like tablets and computer games and YouTube. <laughs> well, not you. You body, know what YouTube is project. like with with the younger generation and stuff. I think it's good that they get out off the technology and out enjoying the the great out, outdoors. You know, I think it's good for the mind, good for the soul. John said he um, he just uses clippers to shave because um, sensitive skin goes all blotchy. Yeah, it does actually. Yeah, no, I yeah I use clippers to be to be fair, uh, and plus, I find the clippers are what that wide. You know, yeah, about that wide, so you can do quite a lot of your face quite quickly. Um, so you're not there for absolutely ages. And Jen doesn't like me clean shaven; she likes a little bit of rough. I'm going to throw you in the giveaway. I didn't it? mean that to come out the way it came out. Uh -huh. So we've got a nice Daiwa reel here, people, for the 500 giveaway. Nick says, um, sounds like somebody else he knows. What, plucking? Uh, Nicola or plucker? Uh, yeah, I did say that, right? <laughs> oh, this is going wrong. So we've got a really nice Daiwa reel here, brand oh. new, in the box, um, with Bray. Wish we got... I was fishing, needs to be put on a timeout, it's been mean. We've Which... all seen Jen's cutting abilities. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Exactly, mate. <laughs> yeah. We've probably got some long bits and some short bits. Nicholas put loads of chickens up saying pluck, 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 pluck. <laughs> yeah. How many people in the... 20, 25 people watching, I think. 25. Any new subscribers, babe, please? No. Fair enough. Um, nope, that was cool. Um, yeah, so we've got some nice... Nice bit. It's got quite a lot of taco here, um, which will soon be added to. We've got the extra long. You can tie these around your rod to keep them together, um, but also when you're fishing with, with railings, as you as you will They're probably see with me. They're actually the longer ones, so they tie um, around about four rods. Yeah, you can tie around about four rods with these, but they're also absolutely brilliant for um, on the rails. I just had a thought actually. When people have got boats and you've got the round rail, mm -hmm. that would actually work in a boat as well. Yeah. Um, as long as you're not fishing for for a shark because I don't think it would hold if you end with big takes but to actually keep the the, the rod up sturdy um or straight and, and in place that would that would do on a boat as well. Um but yeah we've got the cool bag for the bait. Um thank you babe we've got the cool bag for the bait um the rig winders I oh, just the the t shirt there's so much um here it's it's ideal and yeah we'd like to add to that um tomorrow as well so um yeah, it's, it's, it's lovely. 
Nicholas said there's 37 thumbs up, 27 in the chat. Oh, it was lovely. John that said how many subs there were. Oh, thank you very much, John. 252 uh, subs, that's brilliant. Some so lovely likes. just refreshed and there's 41 likes. Ah, even better. Thank you, guys. That's really kind. Really kind, actually. I love it. I love it. I love doing these lives and, uh, like, shh, chat. and chatting shh. to you. What was that? Um, I pressed the wrong button on my laptop. Ah, I see. Fair enough. But, um, yeah, hopefully Jen and I will go out and do a bit of fishing tomorrow, do a bit of, um, do a bit of shopping as well. Mm. And, um, look to get some other bits and pieces for the, for the giveaway for the 500 subs, which is nice. Mm. What? I was waiting for you to see if there was any comments there, that's what I was saying. Sorry, I didn't hear what you said. I said no more. Oh, right, sorry. No, 43. <coughs> 43 likes. Oh, cool. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I think Jen may fish with me tomorrow. I don't think we would go live with it because it would probably be only a short trip. And uh, yeah. just means we can have a bit of time, of R and R together, um, which would be nice. Um, nice about the children. I was fishing. Said um, which I was fishing. Which I was fishing. Yeah. When when you go live, you post on your Facebook page, but do you also post on your pri private page? Yes, I post it, and then then you share it. Then I tag you in it, so everyone. Yeah. Yes, yeah, absolutely. Um, Mr. Hoy said, I take it you're saving the Ziplex for a thousand, lol. To be fair, he's no. tried once and he couldn't cast no, it, no, so no. he's going to try it again. Yeah, it, um, I'm going to try it tomorrow, Mr. Hoy. Uh, That's my plan. Um, there's a little mark that, um, that I should be able to use it at. I just need to check the tide times for tomorrow, make sure there's some water there. Um, but yeah. Just me and Jen, and because uh, I like it, I actually think it's got a really nice soft tip to it. Um, it Neville went in, said that they're off. He said bye, chat later. Neville and, and Neville and Tim, thank you for joining us this evening. Thank you very much for your support, and um, always look forward to you guys coming on. So thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Um, yeah, I think it's got a lovely soft tip on it, and um, and I'm really looking forward to um, to using it and um, seeing how, how I can cast it. Because when I took it down to the little mark that Matt and I fished last Saturday, it's quite steep and very rocky, um, and it's loose, it's like big massive pebbles that you stood on, um, and it, it was just, and it's only a small little spot. Really, it's only built for a couple of little rods, um, so I, I probably took it to the wrong spot, and just eager, eager to use it. So um, no, I'll use it tomorrow. Or being well. Mm -hmm. Looking forward to it. Peter asks whether you do lure fishing. I do, Peter. Yes, it's I do indeed. Uh, it's, yeah, it's probably one of my absolute favourite things to do. Um, we've got uh, a couple of marks here where you kind of go out on the rocks, out onto the point, and that's it. You stay, you, I literally just stand in one spot, and then I just fan the casts out. Um, but yeah, I know I do it all from fishing with metals, like the Dexter wedges, um, like the um, soft plastics, and um, also using all the plugs, surface poppers, making them walk the dog, and, and all that lot, which is, uh, I, I, I just love it all. I, I mean, my lure boxes out in the workshop, I've just got, I got about eight of them filled, um, and yeah, I'm just a little bit spoiled for choice when it comes to going fishing. I want to take them all with me and use them all. But um, <clears throat> last year, last year I concentrated uh, a bit more on the soft plastics than I did the plugs, um, and had great, great fun, great fun with them. And the action, um, I used the do life sticks and a new one which was recommended to me by Ben down at the Art of Fishing, which. Bass Evil, I think they're called, or Evil Bass, something like that. I can't remember the name. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, but they had a, quite a bit of weight to them, and they cast really, really well. Um, and uh, yeah, they were awesome. And uh, the, uh, the Mrs. Action. B is in the house. Mrs. B is in the house. Good evening, Mrs. B. Thank you for joining us. 
lovely, lovely. Um, but yeah, the action that those soft plastics give are oh, oh, they're brilliant. Brilliant. I cannot wait to get out and uh, do some lure fishing with those. Um, hopefully to get into a nice big bass as well. But so the first plug I ever fished with was a, it's about this big, um, surface popper. <clears throat> and I bought it down in Padstow in Cornwall, Padstow Angling, which is owned by Ed Stalika, if anybody knows the name. Um, basically, he's got some videos and DVDs out and going into the eight, 90s and, and whatnot. He always used to be in Sea Angler holding up massive bass. Um, and he actually designed this, this plug, and I went down to his shop, and the guy said, it's got these little vents. So where you've got the... Uh, concave face behind that you've got little vents and as it comes through it pushes water through which makes bubbles come up which makes it look like a living fish and um, yeah I bought one and um, took it down and uh, I think it's like only my my first second time of actually trying it and um, yeah smashed right into the, to the no, bass Sally so, said that it's just brilliant. shared on Facebook <coughs> um, Wish I was fishing asked what your favourite lure was Pat said bass evil lures do really well here in Guernsey Okay, um, Valley, at a, what was the ending name of Valley? Oh no, it's Valley Tackle. Oh, Valley Tackle, thank you very much for sharing, oh, I really appreciate that, thank you so, so much, thank you, really appreciate it, I do, thank you. Um, what was the, who was is this, it, oh, it's, it's keep shared fishing. It, shared it on Facebook, is it CV Tackle, the website? CV Tackle, is that your website? Yeah, I'm just waiting for yeah. it. Okay. Um, yeah, my favourite lure, I like the Maria Angel Kiss. Um, I like that one. Um, I think it looks really cool in the, in the clear. Um, yeah, I would say the Maria Angel Kiss. And uh, Missouri Mad Popper is a good one. It's quite well known, that one, actually. I like that one. It's got quite a bit of size to it, but it really kicks up. When, you, when you're when you working it, when I work the lure, what I like to do is with my rod... Um, I don't have it tucked into me. I don't have the, the butt of the rod touching me at all. I literally will hold on to the reel. Uh, if I can find the reel. I will hold on to the reel like that, as loose as I can, and I will wind. Now, if you can see that, that's still a little bit of movement. Once you've got rod in there, that gives a little bit more movement, which I find adds to the um, to the rod, which will then we'll obviously move the line, which will then move the lure just a little bit more. So, yeah, I hold on as light as I can, but I'll always have my thumb wrapped around, obviously, because if you get, do get hit by a bass, they can, it's like a train, isn't it? So I will hold on as light as I possibly can with this hand whilst I'm winding. And I am right-handed, but I fish left-handed like this. That was mixed because, question. Um, what was that, sorry? That was mixed question, are you right-handed? Yeah, right-handed, but when I fish, obviously when I'm multipliers, other way around, but when I'm lure fishing, um, it's this way around, because I think, you cast and then you're working it and I'll tell you what when you're working the, like walking the dog and making it spit and dance and stuff in the water it gives you an arm ache you can really work it hard and I think you need it on your strongest arm um, and this arm is just for winding in really so yeah I would literally hold it as light as I can work it jiggle it and that's how I that's how I row and Pat Pat says something very interesting then they work well in Guernsey do they um, see I need a little holiday Pat <laughs> Guernsey's a nice place. Um, <laughs> My number one mod. <laughs> Sorry, Nicola and Mr. everyone. Mrs B said, um, "Mrs B says hello," and she said she didn't win the lottery, so boat's on hold. It's on hold. Okay, so it's it's, it rolls, it's a rollover um, for the boat. <laughs> wish I was fishing. Said Wayne, "Do you use braid? Any tips on how to tie onto a spool every time it slips?" Um, yeah, I do use braid, and um. I always, because they always say not to fill the braid too much, um, how do I tie it on? I literally will do a granny knot, then I will do another granny knot, and then I will wrap the, I'll always make sure I've got a lot of braid off the tag end, so I'll do a granny knot, pull it free, wrap it around, do another granny knot, taking both the, um, the new loop, and then when it comes back around, I've then formed the loop, which I will then do my normal knot, which is six times around through, no it's not six because it's braid, so it would be about twelve, and then through, and then I pull that tight, and that will lock it in. Um, and then, and then I get it on as tight as I possibly can. Um, and then whenever I use it, the first time I put that braid on, I will put that reel on 
not my lure rod, um, but I put it on my spinning rod, if that makes sense, because I've got a nine foot salty shake, I think it is, is it a diamond salty shake? Um, I won't put it on that, I'll put it on something that can cast like an ounce or two, uh, so it goes a lot, lot further, and then you can really wind that, that braid back on nice and tight. Um, but when I use braid, I always use a, um, a fluorocarbon leader, um, because as you all know, braid is less like, well, it's like cotton, isn't it? So if you try to touch it, it just, actually I've got something here that will show. Um, so braid is similar to, to this. And uh, in fact, I think this is a bit of braid. And um, now if you've got a swivel or a rig clip or something um, for your lure, as soon as you touch it, it kind of just goes like that. It, it doesn't, especially if it's thin, whereas you need to be able to stab it through the tiniest little bit. Instead of it just doing that, you want it to go straight through like mono. Um, so I always make sure I've got a fluorocarbon leader. And what I've actually done is purchased, I've got two lure reels, um, both, of which, both of Shimano, which to be fair, one needs an upgrade. The cat looked up then. Yeah, did he? Um, one, need, one of them needs an upgrade. So I might buy myself this. Um, but I will always make sure that I've got two spools of each. So I'll go fishing with two reels and I've got two spools per reel because um, when I'm lure fishing, I want to be into the action. So if I snap off and I lose my fluorocarbon, I'm not going to then try and tie another fluorocarbon on, on the rocks or even trying to thread braid on. Um, so I will literally just undo that, take the, take the spool out, new spool on, already got the fluorocarbon and, and I'm away. And that is a lot quicker to change a spool than it is to tie braid to to carbon uh the 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 leader sorry so um yeah I, that's why i always do it and yeah i go with two two reels and uh basically i have four spools of it um and then if i've snapped off that many times then it's just something's going wrong so uh, yeah but i like braid because you feel so much through it um Suggestion, Somebody asked a suggestion. Was it go to guarantee and spend a week with Pat fishing? Come on. <laughs> oh, I've lost it. Um, Pat said you'd be welcome anytime. Ideal. Uh, Peter said Wayne would have a Thank wild you, time here. Where's that? Is Peter in Guernsey as well? I believe so. Oh, Pat said cool. he surely would. We would look after him. Ah, oh, yeah. Um, and Pat put, shared a link. This is a guy, um, a link to the Ger Guernsey chat who does well lure with lures. So oh, okay. Subscribe to you. Ah, oh, sweet. Yeah, we'll have a look at that for sure. Absolutely. Um, Peter said that's for sure, and he would he would catch fish. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Peter. <laughs> yeah, my 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 blanking streak is. Uh... Oh, it's been horrendous. It has been horrendous. But apparently the um, the government have some paperwork from the Angling Trust, which apparently they've had for about a month to find out how far we're allowed to travel for reckon eight, um, doing the fishing. And I think that they pushed that for an answer. So we might get something back soon in the, uh, in the post. By the time we get news. that back, we'll all be allowed out to play. Yeah, will that be by before the, the 29th of March? I don't know. Um, but yeah, the, but the Angling Trust have, have pushed that, so that would be good to know because, um, you know, it's it does seem like some of the waters around are a bit barren at the moment, but hopefully, you know, it won't be too long before we can hook into some fish. Hopefully tomorrow, hopefully I'll cruise in my Ziplex, and then hopefully uh, we're going out filming on Friday and uh, we'll get some fish on camera then. I'm feeling very confident about Friday, so that's cool, for sure. But no, I want to go to Guernsey now. No, you're not allowed. There's restrictions in place. You can't go anywhere. Hmm. I didn't realise Pat and Peter were down in Guernsey. That's that's awesome. What a beautiful, beautiful place. I I um I used to live down in the Isles of Scilly, um, down in Tresco, and uh, we done a little bit of fishing down there. Myself and and Gavin. Um, so growing up, I used to fish with my dad and my uncle Phil and um, my very old friend Gavin, who unfortunately I don't see very much. Uh, these days but uh, yeah we went to the Isles of City together to work and um, I think we were only there for a couple of weeks before we were like ringing up home saying can you send down our rods 
Pat and, said um, I won't see the live tomorrow. I'm working. It's right. We're <coughs> doing one. Oh, no, that's okay, Pat. It's it, it, we're not going live tomorrow, mate. It's just going to be a a bit of a inglorious fishing said hello. Inglorious, what a lovely chat you had the other day, um, and um, what a lovely prize that that mag, um, pen mag, five C five, Mark four, I think it was brilliant. I watched that; it was it was great fun. It was great fun. Um, yeah, awesome, awesome. <laughs> it's really funny to be fair. So um, I couldn't see what was going on just because of my eyes, but uh, I was listening. <laughs> it sounded like a good time, that's for sure. Um, but no, um, we we we. Um, fished uh, the Isles of Scilly and that was just some of the pollock down there uh, unbelievable and then because I could see um, all right I'll, I'll say I would say pretty well then I, I couldn't but for me it was brilliant um, to the point we used to wish do a lot of wish I was fishing <coughs> said if you catch tomorrow it don't count if I catch tomorrow it doesn't count what would you mean it doesn't count what against my blanks yeah because you're not alive <laughs> oh. <laughs> Be rather early. Oh, he's harsh, isn't he? He's harsh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, but no, I used to go snorkeling um, with my good friend James down there, and um, yeah, I used to see all the crabs and the the marine life in the Isles of Scilly was amazing. And when we went over there, because um, I came back a couple of times to see family and and everything, and then but we used to go over by helicopter, and you used to look out the window, and you could see like a line in the water where it kind of went from a a weird greeny, aqua greeny colour to this just incredible blue. Um, and for those who have been to the Isles of Scilly and like obviously down in Guernsey and stuff like that, the Channel Islands, like you'll you'll know what I mean. Like how blue that is. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, it's a lovely, lovely. John place. said, "Just make a video. Don't do live." <clears throat> do you know what? If we if when we go fishing tomorrow, I might do a little video if we catch a fish. We we'll catch do it on the phone. Yeah, we we'll do it on the phone. If we catch a fish, we'll we'll, we'll put it on video and then. Uh, we'll, Actually, we'll, no, I'll just we'll video it, it and if anything funny, I'll put it up. If anything funny happens, we'll put it up. Brilliant. Might just try and trip you up. Yeah. Fishing's fun. Yeah. Fishing's fun, especially with Jen. Oh, I won't be able to hide in the car there either. Why would you want to hide in the car? It's warm. Yeah. But yeah, no, I bet, I bet fishing guarantee. Well, I've seen it on, on TV, haven't I? With um, watching Inglorious and uh, watching Smash and. Oh, shoot, there's another one. Um, Guernsey. Oh, there is another one. I can't remember it, sorry. Um, but no, it is. The fish, the fishing life down there is just incredible. And uh, yeah, I, I, I actually said to Matt, because we've done 24 hour trips on the beach before. Would he consider doing that over in the Isles of Scilly? Just, you know, a little rod, say something like the Flatty Fanatic, little reel, um, and then a bag of taco, etc., and then like a tent and whatnot. And literally just, you could camp up on Briar and then move around the islands just by getting a little pup up boat and uh, exploring the fishing and stuff. And I reckon that would be awesome, even if it was just spinning there. Um, so I'm trying to get him to do that. I'm trying to get him to do that, but uh, we shall. It's quite expensive there, though. I think a loaf of bread's like two quid. If I remember correctly from when I used to work there. A what? A loaf of bread's like two quid. No, it's, it is really expensive. And like I was there in like how many years ago? So. Uh, I don't want to go there. But yeah. It used to be good. I actually used to windsurf between the islands um, when I was down there. That's how good my eyesight used to be. So. Uh, I'm like, ain't I love it. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do it now. <laughs> yeah. I would end up in the Channel Islands. <laughs> But uh, yeah, for anybody that's new, the, the 500 giveaway is basically the blind angler t-shirt, blind angler stickers, the real um, 500 gram bag of Gen Sweet. Uh, we've got the bait bag. Um, we've oh, just a load of taco rig wallets. Um, there will be there's rigs. There's going to be rigs made by the blind angler as well. Bait bag. Uh, yeah, I said bait bag. Uh, we've got the braid for the Daiwa spinning reel. Um, the, the the rod rest, which I do think would go well in the boat if they did have the those like little rails that I've seen seen on them. Um, again, just circular hooks, normal hooks, floating beads, loomy beads, different hooks, different rigs. Um, just so much. And that video will be going up after this live. And all you've got to do is literally give it a like, share it, 
make sure you've subscribed to the Blind Angler and then just put a post, uh, sorry, put a comment saying sweets um, and then a number will be um, assigned to you, put into the computer database. We will then show everybody the numbers um, and then we'll do the draw once we hit 500. And uh, like I said, if we hit the 500 on a weekday or even on the Saturday, that next Sunday we will be going live and we will do the draw. So if we hit it on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday we will be live in the evening once the kiddies are in bed. Day with the um, yeah, and we just get it one straight away. Do you know what I mean? Just get it one straight away. Um, and then this will go wherever you are, we will send it worldwide for sure. There's no problems in that. The only problem would be the sweets because um, obviously there's some restrictions on that. But I'll look after them for you. Mr. B asked whether the sweets have been opened. No, I no. bought them especially. She actually bought them especially, um, and it's got these like double seals on it, so there's no like opening of that without knowing. And she bought three packets of these. No, one. no, no. I bought one packet of 500 grams. I bought two bags of one kilograms. One kilos. Okay, so this is a 500 gram. She bought another couple of bags of one kilo. The one kilo bag will be available on the thousand. <laughs> <laughs> thousand sub giveaway um but they are really nice sweets and we this is how bad it is jen knows the guy that sells the sweets really quite well <laughs> he's a really nice chap yep. so um he always fills them up a bit more as well I've so there's probably more than five somewhere probably more than 500 grams in there to be to be fair but obviously 500 grams 500 subs so you know wishing uh wish <clears throat> i was fishing last day the boat situation was coming along and then John wrote, shh, no boat. <laughs> the boat situation, I would love to have the boat. And I'm not scared of having and a boat. Glory said he loves fishing. Yes. Not he's... fishing, love, love sweets, sorry. Oh, do you, Inglourious? Well, you make, sure you, make sure you subscribe, my friends, and uh, you will get you a number and if you win. We're... And he also asked, hey, he didn't know you could go live under 1,000. It's because we're using an app. Yeah, you can use an app. Um, I think there's a couple apps that do it. We use uh, Prism. I it seems it to be the less glitchy. Yeah, the the Prism app seems to be the less the less glitchy. Um, but uh, there are other apps available that will allow you to to do it, mate. Yeah, for sure. And um, yeah, said he's in, he subscribed. Ah, oh, thank you very much, my friend. And if you win, I will hand deliver these to you. Of he's, course you because will. Because he's down in guarantee. <laughs> so uh, muppet. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's cool. That's cool. No, I like that. But uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be out. Well, we are going out definitely Friday. As um, long as the weather doesn't change. As long as the weather holds up. Um, yeah. as well. Because, um, I mean, I will fish in all weathers. And to be fair, when Jen and I, Jennifer and I got together 12 years ago, I think we were only together for something like a week, maybe two. And I took her fishing. And I was there fishing. And um, she was sat on a rock, and around her was just snow. And she sat there all it day. Was she sat there all day whilst all day. I was fishing. Um, so I was like, "Yeah, she, Old. she she's a keeper." That so, was back um, when you didn't have much internet. Didn't have anything to do. Twelve years ago, we had quite a lot of internet. What are you no. about? It but, was when uh, you used to pe have to <laughs> pay for internet when yeah. you used it. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. But, um on your phone, I meant, not internet. Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, she sat on a rock, covered, surrounded by snow, reading a book whilst I fished. <laughs> Mr. B said, Jelly, um, Jaffa cakes are all gone. Jaffa cakes it's all not gone. On jelly babies now. <laughs> See, why does it take him so long to eat the Jaffa cakes? I don't get it. Who's eating the Jaffa cakes and jelly beans? Though? Is it Mr. B or is it Mrs. Jelly B or babies. is it both? Oh, the ja jelly babies. Oh, jelly, jelly babies. babies. Oh, I like a jelly baby. I like the red ones. Such a I'm only joking, I can't tell which one's which. <laughs> they should give you the ones I don't like. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's true. That Wish I was fishing. By the end of the year, he'll have a boat. Yeah, absolutely. It's not Ryan, no. is it? No, it's not. No, I, I don't think so. No, um, wish I was fishing. It could be Ryan. No, but I don't I think, think it is. Um, no, no, Ryan. Ryan said he might be able to pop on. No, I would love a boat, and I would I would like a kayak as well. To be fair, I, well, I tell you what I like about it. I always when I speak to I've spoken to quite a few other um, uh, vision impaired people and and so on, and they say to me, "How do you do it? And how do you do it so quickly uh, with fishing, like tying knots, etc." Um, and I always say the same thing as I've said before: fail to prepare, prepare to fail. Make sure that you are ready to go. Um, and my box will be organised 
it's not like I'm a bit funny about it. It just makes my life easy because I know it was it is it OC OCD is it? I like I don't have that. It's just it makes my life easier to go into my my tackle box and go there it is there it is there it is there it is. Um, and when you're on a kayak, when Hashtag I used to have one, Guernsey trip. Ah oh, yeah, Pat. nice one, Pat. We'll get that going. So <laughs> I might need a just fund me page for that. <laughs> but um, with with a kayak, what I really liked about when I had my kayak is um, I had the Moken Feel Free, uh, fourteen foot I think it was, and it had a really long compartment uh, between your legs, which you could just open up. It had all I had all my tackle in there shut locked away the rods were behind me i knew where everything was and it was all organized and it's that kind of easy fishing and it's comfortable because it's just all around you and it's, it's lovely and in a boat i would have exactly the same setup i know i would know where i am i would know where my bits and pieces are and i'm ready to fish and fish hard um and uh because that's what i'm like when i go fishing the next day i always have a really bad headache and i wondered if it was because of my eyes um, and it wasn't until I actually asked Matt, I said, when are we go fishing next day? Do you have a headache? Because I was like, is it my head torch? Is it my hat? Is it my eyes? What is it? And he said he had the same thing. And it was because we were just so into the fishing, we just didn't drink. And we used to do the 24 hour stints and it'd only be once we have something to eat that we'd have a little you know, swig of juice or something to wash down your food. And that would be it. We just didn't drink. And the next day, you know, we're probably uh, quite dehydrated. So... Um, yeah, you don't normally drink the drink. I'm no, because I'm just so into the fishing. I, I zone into the fishing so much that I, I love it. And, um, you know, Jenna be like, when well, it's time to go, it's 11 o'clock at night. And I'm like, oh, already? Like, it's gone so fast. I would stay there all night, as I have done. So. Peter said, um, Wayne, the Guarantee Boys would look after you. So my comment was, hashtag you can have him. You can have... Do you, do you guys feel the love? I mean, I feel the love from you guys, but does anybody feel the love from my wife to me? <laughs> Roddy the Cuddy and I would love to go to Guernsey. Thank you, Larry, said, Being great chat and banter. Um, off now. We'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. Thank you, Larry. Thank you for your support. Thank you for joining us, mate. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, yeah, and if anybody's missed it, the blind bag and the T-shirt. White sticks and reels up here. That is my T-shirt. Um, and what a really so and that was an interesting one. What would make would it whoever wins this wins the blind angler t shirt as well? Um, the question is, will I be able to wear my blind angler t shirt before the winner before we hit 500 subs? Um, so if anybody's new to the channel, I have made a fishing rod out of my white stick, um, and I've got to catch a fish on it. Once I do that. I'm then, I'm then allowed to wear the white sticks and reels t-shirt. Um, so what's going to come first? We should, we should take bets. <laughs> I think you'll hit 500 <laughs> before you catch a fish. No, I've done but, um, it. Yeah, and uh, obviously the the white sticks and reels. Rich and Neil said, mate. Good night, Rich and Neil. Thank you for popping on, mate. Thank you very much, my friends. I hope you're well. Um, and don't forget to give Graham his pay rise. <laughs> but the, uh, the blind angler stickers... And the white sticks and reels, Roddy the Coddy and Decker, the white sticks and reels sticker will also be, be uh, in the giveaway. Have I got those the right way round, babe? No. That's it. And this one? That's fine. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, these guys are waterproof and made of vinyl, so uh, they go in your tackle boxes and everything. They're, they're ideal. And my nan, bless her, has actually put one of Roddy the Coddy on her handbag. And she walks around very proud. Uh, oh, we still haven't put that picture up on Facebook, have we, of my nan's handbag no, with uh, Roddy the Coddy on it? So, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. So they'll also be in the giveaway too. <clears throat> um, what? Oh, I, I was watching the TV and then it flipped up really quick. Um, to be fair, she's had you for 12 years. Get less for murder. Who said that, Pat? No, wish Peter. I was fishing. Oh, wish I was fishing. Right, Steve sorry. B said, <laughs> Steve B said, Steve B. Who else? Uh, what do you mean had me for 12 years <laughs> like you make out like she's put up with me <laughs> you make it out like she's been stuck with me her life has been amazing since I've come into it <laughs> you'll wear oh Steve B said you'll wear the t-shirt fast thank you Steve B I hope so uh, I do not if we go fishing tomorrow Carl said yeah you, you had a white in I think trying it out yes he did I did that's right yeah so the white stick in real uh, I've had a whiting and a pouting on it. 
um, which was me building the rod and seeing how she handled. Um, I don't think she's in the house, is she? She's in the car. Yes, yeah, she's in the car. Um, she. 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 <laughs> um, but then we launched White Sticks and Reels and the deal was I'm not allowed to wear it until uh, until um, until we've caught something on it. Uh, yeah. But um, yeah, so if anybody does win, that t-shirt there um, will be made to order. So basically you tell us your size and uh, we'll get on with that straight away. And like I said, we, we will send it world worldwide. There's no no problems there whatsoever it's just two weeks to make a t-shirt yeah i think at the moment she's quite um quite busy so there's like a 14 day turnaround period with her but the quality is ideal um and to be fair we've had such support from everybody in the uk and also further afield that i wouldn't want anybody to miss out so um we'll definitely make sure we get these uh wherever they need to go yeah 100 percent. 100 percent and to be fair, it's been quite cool because I wouldn't have come across the um, this reel, and I really like that. And I was I was telling the truth that that one of my reels needs to be upgraded. And um, mine and Jen's wedding anniversary is coming up um, next month, the twenty fifth of April. Jennifer, don't forget it. I will forget it. There it, it is. So yeah, the, we, 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 a week before, <laughs> do you know what, so when we forget. got when we got married? Um, the lady, the the church people. Um, Carl said, just said he can't wait to get his on the stickers. Um, yeah, that should be next week. Yeah, hopefully we we. That was. A she asked days. us about a couple of t-shirts, Carl. So she might be putting yours in with that one. I hope she does. I hope hopefully. she does. Um, I'll be ringing her tomorrow to find out, mate. And we get those set. We get your t-shirt sent off to you. And you can take a picture of you wearing it. And the, we're, we're gonna have like a gallery of everybody wearing the blind angler t-shirts and white sticks and reels, etc. And the only person that'll be missing will be me. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, when we when we were getting married, the, the, they were like, "What date do you want?" And they gave us a list list of dates, and I said, "I'll have the twenty fifth of April because um, the twenty fifth when I was working was payday." So I thought, if I ever forget our anniversary, at least I know I've got money in the bank to quickly. <laughs> buy Which I was said that you um, to be able to wear it, it's got to be on live. It's got to be on live. Guys, we're going live tomorrow. No, you're not. <laughs> I want to wear my t. I want to wear my t shirt. It's doing my editing because um, my cameraman, oh, cool. cousin Matt, has got Wait, one. Um, Nick said he's got a bait on order. He's doing a two-tied stint this week. Who, Mick is? Yeah, awesome. he's going to fish it. Mick, are you going live? Are you going to film it? Good luck, my friend. I hope you do do well. I hope you catch. Um, is, Nicola going, is Nicola going with you? And Is she going to wet a line? Um, that'd be cool. But, um, yeah... Um, yeah, my cousin Matt, the cameraman, has got got one. I got him a T-shirt basically to say a big thank you to him for the for the support that he's given me. Uh, um, Peter's asked if you haven't got Facebook, can you get hold of the stickers on the T-shirt? You can, and I'm just checking to see whether I put the email address on the channel. So I can't remember. Yes, you can, Peter. Um, Jen will Jen will get the 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 um, what's it called the um, email address. Oh God. No, stand up. I will days. put the email address on the. You put it in the chat. Um, yeah. So you've got white sticks and reels logo on the front, which the shark is called Decker, named by my son, and then on the back of the t-shirt, embro uh, embroidered, you've got uh, Wally the uh, Collie. Uh, right uh, there. Wish I was fishing. Said I'm not made any more sweets until you catch on the white stick. That is never going to uh, happen. I like that. No. Wish I was fishing. No. That is quality. No. Yes. No. Yes, no. my son. <laughs> not a chance. Oh no no no! Come on, Jen. You're part of the Blind Angler crew. You are changing the. Changing um... name. It doesn't matter. You're still not allowed the sweets. No. You are the communications manager. No. Just hit my. Not what am I doing here? Yeah. Jen, where's the curtain rail? At the top. <laughs> Where? <laughs> oh come on! We're on a live here. I'm getting like a right Wally. <laughs> there we go. <clears throat> I'm just faking it. I'm not. I'm not really blind. Just faking it. <laughs> Thing. <laughs> yeah, things like that happen all the time here. <laughs> and I just sit watching. Yeah, as you can tell, she was and... very, very supportive and helpful there, wasn't she? So. Uh... I am just getting the email address in a minute, two seconds. Cool, thank you. She's just getting the email address. If anybody writes any comments, she will. Um... Funny, because I never know what it, what's after the at. Googlemail.com. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think it's the blind. I think it is the blind angler at, at googlemail.com. Google mail. Yeah, so drop us an email. Um, I've added it onto the um, about page. Oh, and it's on the about page as well. If that helps, if that helps. Um, yeah. Um, sure. Nicola's on my side. She said you can't deprive Jen of the um, sweets. See, earlier Nicola was like, you know, I, I defend Wayne, and then she kind of jumps to and fro, doesn't she? But she's my mod, so we love Nicola her. Nicola says she is, she's got to drive to where they are going. Ah, oh, cool. She, I love it. Nice one. She fishes too. Nice one, Nicola. Is she's that... going to try and video it. Ah, oh, cool, that would be cool. Um, Valley said good night. Valley, thank you for joining us, mate. Um, and yeah, we're, we're definitely. I think we've liked your Facebook page. Have we, Jen? Or we? I believe so. Yeah, but thank you for joining us. Got the right one, thank you for sharing. Um, thank you for subscribing, mate. I really appreciate it, and keep doing what you're doing because I think uh, I think we should have a big round of applause actually for what Valley's doing there um, with with the carers and, and the children and stuff. So you know, no, I just meant I meant everybody like in the chat to put the the thumbs up and stuff. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because hats off. Because that's good. You're doing the right thing, and I think a lot more people should should look to do that. To be fair, yeah, yeah, really good. Well done, mate. I, I like. I love stories like that. It's the right thing. Because the thing is, when you watch the news, there's so many bad stories, and and nobody likes to hear anything bad, you know. But especially when children are involved, etc. Um, so to hear nice things, you know, it just. Yeah. Peter said, "No sweets for Jen till you can come to Guernsey, and then she can try Guernsey sweets." No, I'm literally going to put him on a boat, is so, it, or a ferry, or whatever. So you're, you're it is to get sorry, to you. you're refusing to come to go to Gandhi yeah, I'm and just eat gonna, sweets. I'm just going to drop you off. I'm going to get. I'm going to get time on my own. <laughs> She's a little bit like um, you, can, you can look after him. Yeah. You, so you wouldn't want to go to Guernsey, sit on the beach, and eat sweets. I don't like the beach. And watch me and Pat and Pete like fishing. Wish I was fishing. You toad. You said, um, Nicola, Jen can have those sweets from Harry Potter where some of them are horrible. That's fine. Oh, I'm I like the earwax at... ones and stuff. Yeah, I'm quite yeah. good at hiding what they are. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, I, I like uh, I Wish I Was Fishing. That, that's, he's had some cracking ideas tonight. Some cracking. Basically... Nicola said she was on your side to begin with. Right. Why did she and jump sides? being mean. I, I wasn't mean. I wasn't mean. I just, I just said leave Mick alone and make him a coffee. Uh, next time, I, next time we speak on the phone, Mick, make sure Nicola's not there because she might give me some abuse down the phone. <laughs> oh, cool! John's added on the email address to oh, thank this you, little John. thing that he puts up as his mod. Oh, saying, is awesome. that okay to keep Jen and Wayne? Yeah, 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 hundred percent, hundred percent. Because then that. That, that is just can... literally the blind angler's email, so that's all that will be on it. Yeah, it's just the yeah, it is. It's just the blind. So that's what we used when we like mixed order... Mac D's Jen. We had that yesterday. It was yummy. We did. Yeah, I was. We were good because we were watching um, Keep Fishing Live um, with Andrew, and he uh, kind of had to finish early because he was going home for a takeaway roast. And I said to Jen, "Now I'm not going to lie. Jen makes." One of the best roasts I've ever had. It's like Richard in my top said he's got work in the morning. Richard? Mm -hmm. Richard Hoy? No. Richard Jar Leo? Richard Jarvis? Jarvis? Right. I was getting there. There's <laughs> so many. Richard Jarvis, thank you for joining us and sticking with us, mate. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your support. Um, yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, Jen makes a cracking roast. I mean, everything is just delicious. But being Mother's Day, we were like, don't want you to cook. So I was like, we'll get a takeaway. No, I told you all, um, we got a takeaway roast. Um, but the places that we're doing them. Are not doing. We're, we're not doing them yesterday, which was a shame. Uh, I don't know why. Cause surely that would have been one of their busiest days. Um, <laughs> so then I said to her, "You can have an Indian," because uh, I, I think Mick was having an Indian. Um, oh, Pat said there's no Mackie D's in J Guernsey. Isn't there? No. That's right, because I don't really like it. And Nicholas said, "Watch your video back. You'll see where you'll hear yourself where you." Where I've gone wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Nicola, I'm sorry. Do you forgive me? Peter said, um, Jen won't get much shopping, but Wayne will get fish. That's it. But That's I'm what it's all about. just dropping him off. That's what it's all about. 
just dropping them off. No, that, that's what... And that's I don't do about. that much shopping unless it's like to be fair, giveaways to give people I get excited. Jen, Jen would probably just be happy sitting on the beach drinking our um, Jack Daniels and Coke. Or our distant Rona. Or her wine. I wouldn't be on the beach. I don't like the beach. I don't like but, sand. Um, yeah. I'm sorry, Nicola. Please forgive me. Don't. He's, he's lying. He doesn't mean it. Of course I mean it. I still remember the first time Nicola came on and told me that she was just, her partner was teaching her how to fish and I didn't twig that Mick and Nicola were together. And that was a Thursday when we... John said you, you'll get to a phase in orders before you get to Guernsey. <laughs> 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 yeah, probably, mate. Oh, Pat misses McDonald's. We'll, we'll, I'll send one Wayne with one. You can re-eat it. Here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. But no, I remember when um, Nicola came on the live. We we were fishing oh. underneath the Tamar Bridge on the Thursday. It was the first time we fished it. It was a new <laughs> marks, and Nicola came on literally from the very beginning. So, uh, how about that, Nicola? How about that for a memory? Nicola said, can't stay mad at you, or how can I stay <laughs> mad at you? And then Mick wrote, Wayne, Nicola's like an elephant. She never forgets, or she doesn't forget. No, neither do I. No, he doesn't. Neither do I, Mick. So, yeah, my memory's stupidly good. So, yeah. Mm. <laughs> can I go to bed, mate? No. It's ten o'clock. Yeah. I, w- I want to hear how Mr. and Mrs. Bond are getting on with the jelly babies. If there's any left, or are they all gone? Oh, Mrs. Bond, don't forget, tomorrow night, Euro Millions. Make sure you got your ticket now. <laughs> I need that boat. <laughs> You're an idiot. See, I'll be an idiot with uh, like a million pound boat soon. And all these guys will be wanting a to someday. A million pound? What, what? Well, she wins the Euro Millions and it's like 100 mil. Nicholas just... said, sorry, Jen, I forgive you. <laughs> I forgive you, Wayne. Thank you, Nicola. But, uh, yeah, if, if she wins like 100 odd mil, I reckon she'll, she'll, she'll get us a million pounds. <laughs> when she was fishing, did everyone hear Jen's aggression when she said she doesn't like sand? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I really hate sand. <laughs> I hate cleaning it up. It does my own. I'm glad you heard her aggression because that's what I get. Amanda said hello. Good evening, Amanda. Thank you for popping on. How are you? Hope you are well. I believe I could be wrong here. But I think Amanda was uh, was my very first mod, wasn't she? I, I believe so. Mm. And then it was John. Oh, you don't have to list it, love. All right, sorry. All right. <coughs> just, just looking after the you blind angular crew. It. Just looking after the blind angular crew, that's all. Right, I've done Tuesday's lottery. We've done Tuesday's lottery. We've done Tuesday's lottery. Right, so if we, win, if we win, I'm going to get Mrs. Bond a lifetime supply of jelly Jaffa babies. Cakes and Jelly Babies. <laughs> Yeah. Too late and by the end of a week. So, that's fair enough. Oh, Nicholas says she can't be mad at you forever. Because Mick called her such a crawler. <laughs> 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 but she did say, don't let it happen again. I, I, I promise I will do my best. Oh, he's on to the chocolate orange now. Wayne's favourite, that one. Oh, I've got one in the fridge. You've got a bit of a one. Yeah. Not the same as Toblerone, though, is it? I don't like Toblerone. Uh, Mick, when you go fishing at the weekend and you film it, are you going to put that on YouTube? And do you have a YouTube channel? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. I was just saying it. Mm. Can I go to bed yet? Stop asking to go to bed. I'm What's tired. I'm tired, Jennifer. I'm just dead up early. No, you don't. I do. I oh, yeah, you got to say this kid's just good, don't you? <laughs> You can yeah, do you know what? It's quite funny. No, you've got to get up early tomorrow. We, um... Wait. <coughs> why? You want to go fishing, you've got to get up early. Oh, okay. Yes, we will go fishing. What time is high tide oh, tomorrow? Oh, I'm safe now. I wish I was fishing, so he's going... Oh, no, don't go yet, mate. You, you, <laughs> you'd be on my side. <laughs> so, thank you for joining us. Yeah, you've been a right blast tonight. Thank you so, so much. Good luck for tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. And uh, if anybody's new to the channel and uh, they haven't on Facebook, The Blind Angler, you can follow it and like it, uh, which would be quite cool. And, uh, you know, you can drop us messages, etc. Let us know how you're getting on. Um, but, yeah, thank you very much for uh, joining us tonight. Wish I was fishing. That was a good laugh. So uh, I will try and confiscate our sweets until I catch a fish on the white stick. Pat said he's off. He's got a very long day at work tomorrow and he's got to get up at five. 
Oh, Pax. Yes, mate. You go and get your head down, mate. Uh, thank you very much for for joining us uh, this evening. And um, I'll always be grateful always. to you, mate, for the support and uh, helpful advice you've given me. So uh, thank you very much, my friend. I really appreciate that. Mick said Nick's sorting that. Um, he just fishes. <laughs> Fair one. Ah, he's, he's, he's like, same as us then. That's it, mate. You be the star and get the ladies to do the work. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Although, if Nicola's got a rod and she catches more fish, nah. you know, it could be... But he's not going to point the camera at her, is she? Is he? <laughs> if she's catching fish... She might have the camera on her going, look, don't watch him. Watch me, I'm catching fish. Oh, God, if Nicola goes and catches fish on Saturday, <laughs> that's going to make me look even worse. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only joking, Nicola. I'm only joking. I learnt my lesson not to upset you. Oh, Carl said he wish he had the day off tomorrow and be with you, but up at 4 a.m. I do Ooh. not miss that early morning start. God, not Carl and Pat, like, jeez. Gosh. Mr. B said, do you all love chocolate or is it just us? I think, it's, I think everybody does, doesn't they? Yeah. I, I, do you know what? I'm not an alco I don't I'm not an alcoholic drinker. I don't drink alcohol. Um, but he and, loves um, his chocolate. But at the weekend uh, at the weekend at Christmas, Jen was having a drink. Um and I could smell it and I was like, Are you, are you drinking a milkshake? She's like, No. Keep fishing um, live said, just fly and visit, say hello. Keep fishing live. Ah, oh, Andrew. Smash the like button and have a quick listen to Jen's voice. <laughs> 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 <It's> such a tar. <laughs> Andrew, I hope you enjoyed your um, your roast yesterday. Um, I was uh, sat or laid on the sofa listening in, and thanks for the tip about the uh, the twin kayak. I am working hard on either getting a boat or a twin kayak for Jen and I. No, um, but no, I really enjoy. I I like watching your lives, Andrew. So um, yeah, nice one. Thank you, my friend. So it was Andrew that was asking for your. Um, Pam poem. Yeah. <laughs> voice over. Oh, God. That's cool. I said that would be epic. <clears throat> it would not be epic. I it don't would. Andrew, are you bowls. based? Are like. you based up in Portsmouth? Is that? I think Andrew's based uh, up in Portsmouth. You got a question? Right? Yeah, hang on. Oh yeah, got a question. Lost it. Hang on, guys. Whoever asked the question, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> hold fire. <laughs> hold Peter fire. said, um, Wayne, if you could have only one rod, one reel, and one rig, what would it be? Like one like, rod, one reel, like and what would it be? <laughs> one rod, one reel, and one rig. I think I would go for... Berkshire. Okay, Berkshire. Yeah. That's I cool. hope I said that right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think the rig would be... A two-hook flapper. Because Nick Curry loves a fishy flapper. <laughs> Shocking, Jennifer. I think the rig would be a two-hook flapper. <laughs> I was going to say a running ledger, but I think the rig would be a two-hook flapper. Um, I think the reel would be a... Dio Saltis, the silver one, the first ones that came out. And I think the rod would be... A, my Daiwa Supercast X. And the reason I say that is the... Donny Go Tails says hello. Uh, sorry, say that again. Donny Go Fishing Tails says hello. Donny Go Fishing Tails. Yes. So uh, hiya mate, thank you very much for joining us. Um, I will explain the 500 sub giveaway uh, in just a second. Um, the question of rig reeling rod... The rod, rod Supercast X would be the one I would choose. The reason for that is I have fished, I've had that rod for about 20 years and I have caught everywhere I've been on it from fishing in like a little creek um, to fishing the Bristol Channel, uh, Chesil, uh, surf beaches. So I've had small eyed ray on it. I've had a 13 and a half pound cod off the shore at the Bristol Channel on it. Um, so I would go for that and plus it's got such a lovely soft tip in a creek for like little scooby bass and uh, and flounder I think it would be awesome for that because it's good in the surf as well um, the reason I would pick the big reel is because one 
the reel would be fine for a little flick out in the um, creeks and stuff um, but also when you're fishing the surf beaches and especially the Bristol Channel it's got that grunt to get it in and the two hook flapper because I think you could catch literally anything on that from bass flounder um, I've seen cod come in on it I've had a um, onion at ray on a two hook flapper as well so yeah that would be my <clears throat> my pick good question I like that keep fishing lives of light Keep fishing live. Thank you for joining us, Andrew. Thank you, my friend, and uh, look forward to your next life. 100%. Thank you, my friend. So will I. And, I'll, and so will Jen. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jen. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll let you know on your next life how I'm getting on with the uh, the kayak shopping. <laughs> Not happening. Oh, uh, yeah. So I was going to say about the five minute giveaway. Um, so basically, after this live, there will be a video posted, and all you've got to do is like it, share it, make sure you've subscribed, and then in the comments, put uh, the caption sweets um, and you will win everything that's in front of us here with uh, a cool bag for you the bait bag um, there's a load of taco here like circular hooks normal hooks uh, lumi beads um, there's the rails rod rests so you wrap these around rails when you're fishing on like piers and so on um, there's braid there is a Daiwa reel here which is a two pa uh, 2005 it's a lovely reel and to be fair I'm probably gonna get one myself brand new in the box we've got some rig winders we've got the blind angler stickers somewhere here Roddy the Coddy and um, <laughs> there it is Roddy the Coddy and Decker from white sticks and reels I don't know if they're up the right way around or not sorry um, Oh, I won't even look. And then obviously the blind angler t-shirt which is behind, which is, I don't know if you can see that there. Um, so that would be in there oh, as well. Um, and there's rig wallets as well which will have rigs in it made up by myself. Um, there's also rigs made. And a bag of sweets, 500 grams, donated by my good wife Jennifer, Mrs. Blind Angler. Um, but the reason we've gone live is just to say a big thank you to everybody that's kind of donated to the giveaway um, and there will be more added to it because obviously we've received a few more donations tonight which is really lovely it wasn't what this video was about but for those donations thank you so much and we'll make sure we get some lovely bits and pieces to go with it um yeah Kevin <clears throat> said that he will get a price for the components and get a price for you guys cool yeah i'll post and that i said that i would buy one for it yeah um there's also going to be one of these now this is made by a family friend called kelvin who's in the chat as um, chip, chop chip, chop chip. Um, and basically what it is, is it's, it's for making your rig so it's got two different points here um, so you can put the tiniest of swivels on here or whatever you may want to tie so you slide it on and then you've got something to hold on to whilst you tie it and then you can literally grab hold of this and put it tight same with that one there as well or you can hang it up and make your rigs um, and I think Kelvin said, well, he actually made this especially for me, uh, got it Saturday, I think he said he's had up to £60 pulling on this, and it didn't give. Uh, the guy knows what he's doing, he's amazing. Um, so I will purchase one of these off of him, and that will be going in the um, in the giveaway as well. And once I've got the prices for these, um, I'll put a picture up and the prices on the Blind Angler Facebook page, just in case anybody wants them, because I'll tell you what, that is brilliant. And it's stainless steel, so it won't rust, and it's going to last an absolute age so yeah they are that is cool i'm so happy with that so yeah um yeah so that's that's kelvin who's in the chat there chop chip chop, chop chip, chip. <clears throat> right you want to say yeah. goodbye so i can do your video to post yes so guys i will give it five minutes for you guys to say your uh, goodbyes to each other thank you so much for joining if you're new to the channel and you've subscribed liked or for everybody that's liked for that matter i will just join us tonight thank you so much thank you for your support um, but we will get the video up uh, in about six minutes so we'll give five minutes to say goodbye <laughs> six minutes for the video to go up and then yeah just um, put the comments sweets after because liking and sharing it as soon as we know I'll share it with everyone cause what the yeah Kelvin's yeah. got to sort it out Kelvin's the one that makes them so yeah we'll absolutely Kelvin, yeah. Kelvin literally makes them ha they're handmade um, that, like I said before at the beginning of the video the guy knows what he's doing he's like He's built things for my motorbike, parts for my motorbike that you can't even get anymore. And he's just got a bit of aluminium out and, and built it. That's made out of stainless steel, so it's it's gonna last. Um, Carl said, um, "It's a great live. 
off to bed now. Yeah, Carl, you go get your head down, mate. Five hundred. Yeah, a hundred percent. Amanda asked <coughs> um, if you could fish anywhere in the world. Where would you choose to fish? Donny Gould said you're a legend. Oh, thank you, Donny Gould. That's really cool. Thank you, mate. Thank you for Steve, joining us. Stephen B said good night. Stephen B, good night, my friends. Amanda, do you know what? If I could fish anywhere in the world, it would be, as, as things stand right now, I would love to go to Norway. I would love to go to Ireland. I would love to go to the Isle of Wight. I would definitely love to go to the Channel Islands and Guernsey and meet Pat and Pete uh, and, every, and you know, Glorious and everybody else down there would be awesome. But if I could fish anywhere in the world right now, it would be 100% a few miles that way, just off of Plymouth in a couple of months for my 40th birthday and catch the blue shark. Um, Cause I think everybody knows I want to catch a blue shark for my 40th, uh, one to celebrate my 40th, but also to see for the first time and probably the last time if a blue shark is as blue as it used to look to me on TV. Um, and that's what I'm, I am trying so hard um, to try and get something arranged where I can go out and catch a blue shark. Cause yeah, it starts was, in July. yeah, it starts in July. I think it's only July to the first part of, September, um, but uh, it's just I mean they're filling up fast and I need to, I'm trying to sort something out but yeah literally I've got like maximum two years left with with the vision that I do have which you know if you guys look at a bead it's probably the same as a bead um, so I've got probably yeah two years and I I, I said to Jen it's either now or never really so I need to see a blue shark um, so yeah if I could fish anywhere in the world be a few miles probably i don't know 20 30 miles offshore of plymouth and uh catch a blue shark and then come home to my beautiful family that's that, that's where i would i would say yeah good question as well actually yeah mr b said good night all now to wash the chocolate off <laughs> yeah, I save don't... it till the morning <laughs> but really mr b do you think you're gonna go to sleep after eating all that that sugar you're gonna be bounced off the wall when i do it when i eat chocolates and sweets this late which is quite a lot um i go to bed and then jen's like trying to fall asleep and i'm like babe let's talk about this babe let's do that and she's like oh you've had too much sugar just go to sleep or go downstairs yeah what's worse is we always have a disagreement in the evening when you're eating it and i'm like you got to keep yeah jen's awake. like you shouldn't be eating that you're gonna be you'll keep me awake like you'll be high as a kite and i'll be like no and then whoever's live <laughs> finishes jen's like i'm going to bed i go to bed and then that's it i'm like ding <laughs> So annoying. Yeah. Anyway. Hmm. Everyone is saying good night. Good night. Oh, guys, can we have a big uh, shout out to the mods? Um, Amanda, Nicola, Pat, John, Carl. Don't I've missed look one. At me, I no, I've missed know. one. Kev, Kev's there. Oh, no, I think Kev's just gone. Oh, and a big, uh, I think everybody will join me in wishing Mick and Nicola good luck for the weekend when they go fishing. Um, yeah, really hope you catch. I hope you have a great time, Mick. I really do, mate. And, uh, yeah, like I said earlier, thanks for the uh, the chat the other day on the phone and um, for your advice. Amanda said, Jen, you're yawning, bless you. I'm pooped. Natalia had me up for two nights in a row because of her cold. Yeah, little Natalia, bless her. She's had a bit of a cold. and um, she's, sleeping. Actually, she's got a cold already. Yeah, she's straight. It happened last time lockdown finished the yep. kids went back they um they came home within a few days with a code and uh and whatnot bless but yeah big hats off and thanks to, to all the mods and everybody for the support um with the channel etc um yeah jen and i will go fishing tomorrow if we catch anything we will film it chuck it up on the channel um obviously the 500 sub giveaway will be up in a in a little while um and then we are going fishing on friday uh, it won't be live. It's going to be a production video type thing. Um, I am so excited. Cannot wait. Cannot wait to get out there. Um, and that that will hopefully be up on the channel Sunday evening. Maybe Saturday. But maybe some more Sunday. Depends but, how much editing I've got. Yeah, to do. it's going to be uh, an editing type job for Jen to, to do. So we will get that like out. a day. But I am just super excited to go and do, do that. And... Uh, yeah, looking very much looking forward to that bad boy. And then uh, we'll let to go live in a week or so. Mm -hmm. And say hello to everyone, see how Mick's got on. 
Yeah, Mick, message me and let me know how you get on, mate, get on, there on Saturday. And Nicola. Well, I wish you both well. I really do. <laughs> but, yeah, guys, thank you very much for joining. Anything else, Jen, before we sign off? No, everyone's just saying tight lines. Tight lines to you all. Yes, thank you very much, guys. Thank you for, for joining us tonight. I've absolutely loved it. And for those who uh, donated to the channel, thank you so much. It was so kind of we get that added to the, uh, to the giveaway uh, within the next few days, for sure. If there's anything you want to add, if you, uh, any suggestions to add to the giveaway. Oh, yeah, well. if there's any suggestions. Is there anything like, anyone particularly would like? Yeah, if there's anybody anybody would uh, like anything particular in there. Then Stephen B's asked what sort of fish are in there. I'll take the fish tank. Uh, we've, got, we've got guppies, uh, male guppies. We've got corridoras, and we've got one catfish, which is black with white stripes, which is, funny enough, called stripes. And he um, likes to hide. He never and, comes uh, out. So yeah, he's, they're quite cool. And uh, I don't know, can you see what's on top of the fish tank? Yeah. Oh, so this here is the black peril from Pirates of the Caribbean. Um, I'm a massive pa um, Pirates of the Caribbean fan, and uh, those that is a Lego pirate ship of about a thousand pieces. Got it for Christmas from Jen, and uh, Zach and I sat down and uh, took us five nights to build it. Um, basically, he he's only six. He read the instructions. He told me what to find. I found it, which took ages. Um, and then he built it. Basically, <laughs> my job kept was you, kept <laughs> my, your underwear. my job was the gopher of Daddy. We need a, a you got a big tub of Lego, and he's like, we need a strip, a single strip, flat with six. And you go in, rummaging through it, and you find it. You count it out. No, that's not it. No, that's not it. That's not it. About twenty minutes later, found it. Brilliant. He checks it. Yep, yeah, that's it, Daddy. We need ten of them. Oh, ten? It's taking me twenty minutes to find one, which is probably why it took us five nights to uh, to build it. But yeah, that's my black pearl. Um, and uh, Jen's actually gone and bought me another one, um, bless her, um, which is another pirate ship from the Pirates of the Caribbean, uh, which is the um, Queen Anne's Revenge. And my nan, <laughs> my nan, bless her. My nan is eighty nine, and um, she's she's going to be ninety in October. And I can't tell you how many grandchildren she's got. She's so many of us, and she went around and gave us all fifty pound. Um, and she said, "It's not like not being rude. It's not for the family. It's not for anybody else but you. And you need to buy something for yourself with that money." So with that money, I put it towards another Lego pirate ship. So um, whenever I see that pirate ship, I'll always think of my nan, which is lovely. So yeah, what were you laughing at? Um, the way your position looks like you're farting because of my um little you? goat you oh, me. because of my little goat chest in there that lets out air like a oh. bubble. <laughs> um, Who it looks like you're that? farting. Who's that, Amanda? Mick. Oh, Mick. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, I wish I was fishing. Said I'm back to fight your corner. We're we just saying our goodbyes. <laughs> uh, yeah, we were just talking about my. I do have one boat, which is a Lego pirate ship behind me. So um, <laughs> I don't think that do that hold up too well. But uh, yeah, the guys, it's just been it's been a great life. Uh, I'm gonna maybe do an eye drop before we do the. Um, yeah, you need to open your. Uh, mouth. Yeah, um, sit on a lot. Uh, sit there like that. Uh, arr. Um, <laughs> but um, yeah, no, guys, thank you for joining joining us tonight. It's been a great great laugh, as it always is with you guys. And thank you so much for the support. I can't say it enough. Uh, I wish everybody could win. Um, to be fair. Um, so, well, we've got a bag of 500 sweets here. I could just send you all out a sweet. A single sweet. Just a single sweet. So, um, yeah. Um, I'll tell you what, next time she orders some sweets, next time she orders some sweets, I will see if she will buy another bag of these and uh, maybe do a, a one-off giveaway of Jen sweets one night. Um, and see how... <laughs> She's already struggling with it, look. <laughs> the the sweets didn't even hit the table before we got. Mm. <laughs> I did it once. I can't I'll say see, I'll do it I'll again. I'll see what I can do, guys. And maybe we'll have a little, a little, uh, a little giveaway. Maybe when we hit three hundred or something, just for a bit of fun. So. Mick said, "Brilliant stuff, guys. Uh, be safe. I'll keep you posted." Yes, nice one, Mick. Thank right. you, my friends. Bye. So, guys, good night. Sleep well, everyone. Stay safe, and uh, we'll see you all again soon. Thank you for joining us tonight. Thank you.